going everybody welcome back to the stream hope everybody's having a wonderful beautiful day boys how y'all doing welcome back to the stream hope everybody's having a good one we got ourselves a brand new tuesday big vault opening and hopefully uh hopefully a bunch of tier pieces today man for my odds because a lot of them they're like oh shaman is a one out of two so at least if i can get the second piece that's a huge portion of my overall damage going up with a four piece for them not being nearly as big as a two piece but still kind of good i mean it's still really really strong like in the long term you do one it's not like it's something you'll skip out on but like the damage increase is really available in the two piece it's pretty nice honestly uh evoker can almost have a four set which once they do the healer evoker is going to be insane, but the DPS evoker also kind of insane, actually. And then what do we got? We got the Death Knight, still collecting tier. Hunter, I think, has one piece of tier. So the Hunter almost actually has a two piece, boys, which could be actually kind of fun. Uh, apparently, BM gets a really, really good once you get the four set. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Everybody's having a good one, boys. Let me get the music back up and running. We'll just go 
open up our vaults immediately how you guys all doing man welcome back yo you all excited for 1005 dude it's coming out real soon hey 1005 coming out real soon man i'm actually so hyped like the bear druid changes the feral druid changes all those are looking really good yeah, sounds good, my chick. Sounds good. I could probably run the key really quickly after I get my vaults done. And then me and my chicks could probably hop in and get some keys done together. That could be really, really fun. Hell yeah, boys. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I am so still I'm still so so sleepy from this morning. I meant to go to bed last night early, but I just couldn't, man. Had a couple of things keeping me awake. And um I got a pretty I guess I gotta go back to doing some projects. So I gotta stop working on stuff, man. Can't just do those all the time. Vault went down now. Please stop talking, Vault Wed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stop. That's a good request. Let me just mute my mic and we just have the stream like that. Yeah. Was that better? No, actually, no talking stream. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no talk just stop talking hey i know you're a streamer and you got a mic and the whole thing is like you hang out with the streamer and talk to the stream but stop talking <laughs> <Are you serious? laughs> that's gonna be troll right i'm just saying you got a huge sap pull them today you think so we'll see man we'll see if i do that'd be great i've been wanting a weapon for a while in survival hunter anyway Alrighty. Let's start with Warrior does not have gear, man. I started getting a little bit of gear. You can see the belt. You can see the hammer. I'm starting to get a little bit of gear, but definitely can't jump in a dungeon just yet. We'll do the Hunter, man. We'll start with the Hunter. Tonight, also, we dive it back into the Vault Raid. Tonight, I believe, a quick heroic for, like, first boss, second to last boss, a very last boss, and then Mythic Prog. That or just going into Mythic. And then maybe doing heroic of the weekend. I don't even know, man. I feel like I, every time I tell you guys what the plan is for the raid, I find out later that, oh, wait, actually, no, that's not how we're doing it at all. Even though, like, in the old chat, we're talking about it. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay, everybody agreed? All right, good. And then we start streaming and we start in a raid. And we're like, actually, we're going to do it like this. It's like, all right, I guess we're just rolling with it. <laughs> every single time, bro. Every single time. Apparently, we also got a new mount. Jade, a bright... For Seer. That's a new six month sub, yeah? The new six month sub mount? It's a bunny! It's got animation. Where it like hops, 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 and then does one more hop. I mean, I guess it's kind of cute. They really started doing like a whole watery effect for all these mounts, didn't they? Like the tiger has exactly the same animation too, like the whole watery effect. I guess so does the bunny. Little festo amount. I guess it's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't really know what to think about it. I guess it's kind of neat. Alrighty, boys. On oh, that survival, dude. I have a ball already, but I need a spear in this thing. I definitely need a spear. Let's see how it goes. Like, I'm a four piece today. Let's go, Rob. Hell yeah, my guy. Ah, uh, I mean, it's haze. You know what? That'll turn to tear anyway. It's so sad that I got legs last time, and I got same exact legs, actually, just at a higher rank. I mean, I'll take it, man. It's it's legs is legs, right? Legs is legs. Rabbit going bang bang. I, he does have, like, a, they do add a lot of, like, the bouncy, like, jiggle physics animations for, so, for a lot of the mounts out days. I do like those. I do appreciate them. Those are pretty cool. I guess we got decent legs, yeah, boys? That's an item level increase. I'll take it, man. Any bit helps. I do need a... I did make a weapon, though. I did make a weapon, 382 Pioneer's Rhythebark Staff, the highest rank possible. It got Mastery Versa, which is not great, but hey, a weapon is a weapon. I just put it on public order, and somebody was able to roll a rank 5 for me, so I can't complain, man. I w better have a weapon than no weapon at all. Though, I have yet to actually try this weapon properly, so I have no idea how good it's going to be as an overall weapon. But maybe today we can take it into Mythic Plus and give it a go. I do want to see if I can start using the Ruby Wobbling. Apparently this thing is really, really good. Some sims coming out for the Rogue class. Rogues apparently like, hey, if you get this trinket, it's not the worst trinket ever. Just make sure you like actually properly use it. So I'm going to use it on a trained dummy. I think I probably should use it on a single trained dummy rather than a with trained dummy. But either way, it's still a trained Wobbling either way though. It's going to be more damage oriented. That's what's important for me. All right. So kind of went down, but not really because it is an upgrade, but I guess it's going to be bad. Grats, I'll take him, I'll take it. I'm afraid to get the ticket from Walt tomorrow. 
I mean, so it's a weird one because it's like it's a trinket that you have to invest time into. So I'm not a big fan of that in particular, but it is apparently good damage wise, which is surprising. It is very, very kind of unpredictable until you spend a little time, a little bit of time. But like, do you? Re I guess the question at the end of the day is like, do you even want to spend all that time like doing this whole trinket thing, right? You could just get a trinket. We don't have to do that. Something that's super consistent. But I guess that one is like. I don't know. Is is it like a meta trinket? Are people actually gunning for that one now? Is that like is that what that's turning into? Shadow Priest boys. The Shadow Priest doesn't have any pieces of tier, so if I can get any tier, I'll be very very happy. But this character is going along, coming along with that item level, man. I could probably just please heal any dungeon right now quite easily. This please get in a big buff, by the way. I mean, it does replace the cloak that I had. So that is my final blue piece, I think. I'll take it, I guess. I mean, it's not quite here, but like... Hey, look at that item level. Boom. Two item levels up. I feel like I'm all purple now, right? Yeah, everything is purple. I can just start, I guess, investing value into all the other pieces. I do need to get a world boss killed at some point. Um, I definitely do need to slam the world boss out of the way at some point this week. Where is he? He's here. Uh, Strun Ran. What does he drop? What does Strun Ran drop, chat? Anybody know? Strun Ran. A trinket? It's supposed to have a chance to strike yourself with empower and lightning. Do nature damage to yourself and increase any haste. I mean, that's a pretty big haste increase. I don't know about taking 15,000 damage, though. But it's a proc, so I guess it could be kind of good, maybe. Or you just kill yourself with it, which could be bad. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it'd probably be worth. What are my trinkets right now? I mean, as your amplifier, it could probably swap it out. It's haste for crit. But like, this one is actually pretty good. I scoveled. It procs a lot. I actually do like that one a lot. I'm ready to get Rage Feather. Yo, hopefully you get your Rage Feather, my guy. Hope you get your Rage Feather. But kind of a dud in this character, not the worst. It still is an item level upgrade, but definitely not tier that I was hoping for. Or like a fatty weapon or anything like that. Hopefully I get some tier in Baltimore. I'm still haven't been on any of my tunes yet. Haven't seen it. Dude, at this point, man, hopefully you get lucky. Hopefully you get lucky. I'm actually surprised so far. Like, I usually am pretty lucky with my ults. My main is usually, is usually the one that gets kind of screwed over with like all the tier and the vault stuff. But my main so far has been fairly lucky. I wonder if like my mate is gonna get a good luck or bad luck then. Alrighty. On that holy. Trying to go for a two-hander. That or a piece of tier. And that's tier. And that is tier, boys. Oh my god, the stats are pretty good too for unholy. Oh my god, actually it's literally same stats. Alright. Well, I feel like now I gotta go do some LFR. Because the final wing of LFR is available. If you guys want to try to get a chance at a Adairna as well as a uh, Razageth on LFR, that's a shoulder piece and a helm tier item. And then there's also LFR for what? The um, uh, Taros, Spider Boss, Kurog. That's legs and chest. So, hey, that's more chances of the tier, but I'll take it, man. And it's tier that can upgrade with Valor. I just made these pants that the other day. So that's a little unfortunate, man. To get tier right afterwards. But that's a good looking tier, though. Well, I kind of like that all the pieces on like the hips or whatever. Because that will look so good with the rest of the armor. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. Big fan of that one. Hell yeah. What do we get? Stuff sold? Beautiful. Now I got a little bit of gold. I could probably actually invest some gold to get that belt, by the way, that we talked about yesterday. Because apparently that thing is this. Jeez, Raz is going to be horrible in LFR. I do wonder just how watered down Raz is going to be. I imagine they would have to make it super watered. I imagine the winds are not going to be strong at all. Like, if you just, like, walk against the winds, it'll probably be fine. They'll have to do something like that, I think. And what I think is like when the people have like all the puddles on the ground or whatever, or the, uh, what is it, the AOEs, they're probably going to put one where the raid cluster is, like to make sure there's a line, so if people get knocked back, they get stuck, and they don't go anywhere. They're probably going to end up doing something like that. I do want to see it though. I do want to know. I think it could be interesting. But I think they'll make it super watered down. Like, I think it'll be best, because it, it, people keep falling far, they don't expect like, mechanics. Ring. I mean, crit mastery? I don't know if that's good, but it is an item level. I'll take it. I don't know where my stats are though. On enhanced, elemental, all that. I have no idea what my best is at all. I was pretty sure it was a like crit haze, crit versa, crit haze for all specs, but maybe this is good. I'll simulate her. 
I'll sim it later. I mean, it's still an item level, but it could be one of those duds. It could potentially be a dud. Grats? Yeah, 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 dude. DK said it's gorgeous. I like it, dude. I like the cow that they got. It's so good. Sub guy, what's up, Liam? I'm gonna be having a good one, my guy. What you up to? I'm pretty good. Rage. Yeah, I hope you get a rage feather. Can't wait to get my four piece on Holy DK. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Two piece on Frost in particular is good, but on Holy is good too. Blood is also not bad either. Except I will last him, unless they change the blood one, I'm pretty sure it's still all about like. I'm pretty sure it's still very. What am I trying to say? Very like, you gotta get hit to get value from it type of play style. So I don't know how I feel about that specifically, but it's not too terrible usually. Wallet. <laughs> what is that replace? <laughs> Do I replace Chill Globe or the Incarnate Icon with this one? <laughs> okay, it's good. Well, yikes. What do you mean, yikes? That's a good trick, isn't it? Is that the best for casters? Hold on a second. Trying to out Rogue was best second of Outlaw while taking the by Rich Feather. I know, dude, I know. Let me actually look it up. Hold on. Because. Uh, Walter said, yikes, I don't even know if that's good now. Now I'm, now I'm concerned. Now I'm second guessing myself. I was pretty sure it was like a best one for all casters. Let me sim it, see what's better. I'll sim it, I'll throw you guys the stat, see what it says. Because I had pretty decent trinkets prior to that. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Well, if you're worried, be good next patch. I mean, they're pretty good now, but like the single Mighty Fury, I think is going to be a lot stronger. But I, I, I won't say Fury Warriors are bad right now, would you guys? Yeah, I wouldn't really say the Fear Warriors are terrible at the moment. They're actually kind of good. They're actually pretty good. I think the single body Fury is going to get so much better, though. So much better. It's going to be nuts. I'm a big fan of that one. I think that's going to be a ton of fun. That's going to be a fantastic playstyle. But this bits for a vocal Where is it? Okay, okay. I was going to say. Because the owner said, yikes. I'm like, wait, hold on. Did I? Is that, is that, am I wrong on that one? It was just like, or say X for someone else. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, no, it's like, yikes, I wanted that one. Maybe it's one of those yikes. Um, Simwise. Yeah, it's a hundred, 143 DPS gain. It's not much of a gain, but it is slightly better than Conjured Chill Globe. So I'm basically just going to go double passive trinket, which I will take, man. I will take it. I do need a bit of crafting gear on this guy. I don't know if I can get like some good Mythic Plus gear, but I definitely do, just do want to get some crafteds because i do keys on this guy pretty easily so yeah rage feather oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah dude that's actually pretty good i'll take it dude, i'll take it it's a slight little upgrade here too i need a better uh ring so honestly i was thinking maybe get one crafted that or hopefully i can chance one in mythic pluses or something i also got a lot of valor can i upgrade anything with valor at all because i know i can't do that trinket just yet i need like a bunch of score in order to make that happen and i definitely don't have the score they're not making this account wide yet. Uh, I can do these boots. What upgrade them to? Uh, this? 9? 402 item level? Probably should do this first, right? Yeah. Probably should do material items first. And the boots are kind of good. God forbid. You know what? I'll hold on to my... Uh, should I hold on to my Valor? I do think I want a better nag though, but the boots are fine. I'll upgrade the boots. I'll upgrade them. I'll do it. Neck, I don't necessarily want to upgrade like I could. It's just not the best secondary stats. If I can get a haste mastery neck, that'd be fantastic. That's what I really need right now. Maybe that's what should get crafted next. Is a lariat with a haste mastery or something. And hopefully, maybe if I can get enough of these globes, which I need to do a lot of keys in order to get them. But I can make it at least a four or five item level. Hopefully, pretty cheap. I got a little bit of gold in this guy, so that should be pretty good. So Evoker is in a good spot, man. The Evoker is still three out of four tier, though. So maybe I can do some level four this weekend or whatever. Yax is in. You took someone else's ticket. Oh, okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. You can roll over the damage of the other packs and you kill everything with the dot on it. Wait, really? That's nutty. I gotta figure out how to play like uh, Evoker properly, man. Because I've been having fun with it, but I still feel like I don't play it properly. I feel like the way I play it, it's just kind of all over the place. All right, chat. A big one. The Rogue. I do have a Druid. I do have a Warrior. I gotta get them keys at some point or another, but they're definitely nowhere near geared, man. I haven't really put the effort into those characters at all. But I do need to start doing that, though. Because Druids are looking really good heading into 1005. What do you think about Feral's tier set? It's a, I think it's a pretty good tier set. I think it's pretty strong right now because it like buffs your crit damage or crit chance. 
uh, which is huge for uh, resource generation. And Bite buffs your bleeds, which is kind of massive because you could go for like this maintenance playstyle and go into like heavy bleeding playstyles too. I think it's a good one. Honestly, I think it's probably one of the better ones. Or at least I think it is. But I have no idea. I, I, it, it, I think it's good. Last time I messed around when the beta is really when I truly mess with it. But that's why I need to start working on Feral, man. I have a Feral. It's already max level, right? It's already there. I just need to, like, play it. I just need to get a gear. Get a gear, though. It takes a second. I feel like once I get a couple of rares done, I can get a little bit of the item level. And then I can take the item level into a key. And then we're chilling. You know what I mean? Unless I get a straight-up carry. But if I can get, like, 380-ish item level from, like, just, like, assaults and stuff. Because you can just do elemental invasions and get a lot of gear that way. Very, very quickly. All right, chat. Owl the rogue. We're hoping for a weapon. We're hoping for a uh, grim torch. We're hoping for item level upgrades in general. Oh, maybe even a weapon from, um, maybe a weapon from a vault, a sword, or the axe. Either one of those are fantastic. Alrighty. Oh, give me something good. Please give me something good, Blizzard. What do we get? Not exactly what I wanted. Oh, I don't even know if that's any of this is good, actually. <laughs> uh, that weapon isn't great, because I already have a 418. That neck is, I mean, it's got a socket, I guess. It's not the best stats either. What is even good here? Bracer? Probably Bracer, honestly. Yeah, I don't think that's good. That's about the same. I don't think that's good. That's probably not great. Wow, my vault kind of sucks this week on my main. What is this? All right, I guess we're similar chat. What is that? What is that supposed to be? What do you get the gear most of the time? What do you get most of the time? I mean, on my main, on like on any characters that have a little bit of gear, uh, what I'm doing on those characters is I'm just um, well, like, like my walls that actually do mythic pluses, usually mythic plus, and then whatever I can craft here and there, and I also do the uh, to get a little bit of gear on like starter characters. It's also good to basically just get a gear from super rares. You also get gear from the Rathian weeklies. You get the world boss as well. You get the uh, assaults, the primalist invasions, and you can get the cords from primalist invasions, which rotate I think every hour. And then you can collect enough cords, and you can basically get some three eighty five ish item of gear, which is pretty good. It's also got like a tier bonus to it, which is kind of nice. A bonus is actually pretty good, like secondary stat bonus that you get, and then all the other stuff. It's pretty good. Dow's ambush build only outlet build only out uh, there with good builds. It's the only outlet build. No, there's a keep it rolling build. It's not as good numerically, but it is okay. Yeah, so apparently those wrists is the only thing that can as an upgrade. Of at least to 58. I guess it's at least a decent item level chat. It's not exactly what I wanted, but I guess it'll work. Man. Yeah, that's uh, man, I'm I'm gonna have to put up wagers on that thing and hopefully eventually get a socket. At this point, I'm even thinking, like, maybe this is like a, a token. Is this a socket plan? But I think we do a bracer. That's like the only item that's like under 400 item level for me. Not perfect. It's haste. Is, the worst stat on that one is not even the mastery, it's the haste. It's not, it's not a good stat for me anymore. Haste isn't what I need. I need mastery, crit, and versa, most importantly. Crit, versa, I think, in that order. Mastery is better than crit, haste at this point. Which is kind of funky. <laughs> but let me put a, a wood in on that. Just make sure I don't forget later. We'll get the rest real quickly. A real quick arrest avoidance. And eventually I guess I can get a socket for it. I would... Like, I guess I'm buying the enchant now. But honestly, I'm even thinking, like, maybe I should just get a wrist crafted, you know? Maybe I should just get a wrist crafted because I do have a spark. And that'll be, like, the one item that's, like, not my best in slot stats whatsoever. So maybe get like a 418 wrist with crit versa would probably be ideal. Because I got a decent enough cloak, I got a chest, I got shoulders, I got lariat, I got cowl, which I would love to get an upgrade to like a rank 5. Just squeeze out 3 extra item levels on that thing. I really gotta hit up the guy that made it initially. Because he did say like an next recraft like only 5k gold or whatever. So maybe I should just roll it. Make it a little bit of gold here and there. Um, That's a good belt. It's crit mastery, but it's actually pretty good. The sockets are good. Master's not a bad stat anymore. Just because you can get more procs on it. I also should get a better watch's low on the boots. It's just I don't know if that's going to be like my boots that I stick with. Because that could be technically another item I would swap out. But I guess the bracers. I think the bracers with a haste mastery. Those gotta go. 
those probably gotta go. You know what I mean? They gotta go. Yeah, let me get a better watcher's loam. Just while I can. Feet. Do 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 two thousand. I mean, what's the difference between rank? F watcher's loam. Let me see. Uh, eighty nine, seventy four, one hundred and five. I'm thinking maybe just a silver, just because I don't think it's worth it. Like, if it was my best slot boots, easily. Easily. But, like, since it's not my best slot boots, I could still get something better out of them. Could technically craft something better with better secondaries. Yeah. This is going to upgrade to rank 2. It's uh, not break the bank. All it is uh, crit versus mastery. So, crit is going to be best stat. Up until I think a certain point, but generally you go for as much crit as you can, and then Versa, and then afterwards yeah, Mastery. Haste is so much worse than Mastery right now, and especially if you play the Keep It Rolling build, you need zero haste, because you have plenty of energy regen, plenty of combo point generation, you don't need any haste whatsoever, you're assuming in buffs, there's a good chance they're going to be rolling also the uh, Buried Trader, which gives you a lot of energy regen, you don't need a lot of haste, you end up globaling yourself too hard. How long have you been playing for? I've been playing since... Uh, so I started playing in, like towards the uh, fire mid Firelands of Cataclysm, or shortly after uh, Firelands launch. But I wasn't like I was super newbie at the game, man. I mean, I still am, honestly. But I was just like, yeah, I want to say it's like. So I know the one who played Firelands was the current raid tier at Cataclysm, and I was there for like the beginning of like Dragon Souls and when Deathwing was flying around and breathing fire in entire zones and whatnot. I was there for that. I was leveling at the time. I think I was level 40, and then Deathwing just like breathed on me. Um, in I think it was um, Western Plaguelands. I was leveling, it was like a little pond, there's like a waterly elementals, I was killing them, and then just fire came out of nowhere, Deathwing roaring through the sky, and I'm just burning. I'm just like, the hell is this? I run back to my body, it's all gone. And I got a human uh, getting killed by Deathwing, which I guess was kind of cool. But yeah, it was, uh, that's about the time when I started playing. So I don't remember if it was like exactly the start of mob. Oh, oh, sorry to what, Kata? I think it was close to sorry to Kata. Did you do any kids in the major this week? I did not. Actually, it's another character I got to level. That's another character I'm going to start leveling. Warlock, Mage, Monk, Paladin, and I think I'll be chilling. Is that actual Speeve? Is that actual Speeve or is that the fake Speeve? Did Speeve make a return? Potentially? What is this dagger, by the way? Oh, he even crafted it. Okay. I do wonder. If that's actual Zbeev or not, because we had a guy on the server named Zbeev hanging around like every time people are raiding, he's always there chatting with everybody inside of the raid. Every night, dude. Literally every day. I don't even know. I, I'm not even sure that guy actually raids. I think he literally sits inside of the raid just to chat with everybody else and meme around people. That's all he does. Scott Arkham's like, you know, so let's uh, say, the zone. That's like Fire Breath actually killed a lot of people. I mean, we weren't technically there in that zone, right? It's not like we were actually there, and if you were like, I guess technically by lore, the champions of Azeroth were fighting Sargeras, and they were just going back to the planet, and then they watched it get stabbed. Nobody was there. You know, maybe like, bugs? Right? The whole zone? Wait, no, didn't the whole like, uh, Sonar and Druid, like, outposts, they just get obliterated, basically? I mean, I guess like, players weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily a leveling zone, is it? I mean, I guess technically it was back in Classic, but like, I don't think anybody actually like hung out there because they wanted to. Or for any reason whatsoever, unless maybe they were doing rep. I think maybe like five people doing their reps in that zone maybe got slammed by that sword, but that's about all. <laughs> Alright, let's get a quick key out of the way, man. While waiting for my man Matux to come online. I can do... Do we take the Hunter chat? Hunters are not really getting much of a buff until I can get tier. And they're not really getting anything new in, at least survival isn't really getting anything new until like, until next patch, are they? Let me see what key I have. I want to see if I have an easy key, because we can put a group together very, very quickly. I mean, one uh, flight or Deathwing, pass the zone inside the zone, change landscape, looks like Sonaris, etc. Oh yeah, I feel you, I feel you though. Yeah. I don't know, it, it's... I feel like they would be doing more of those events. But I think they said something about like doing those events is cool. It's just like really messing with the zones. It causes a lot of like lag and uh, issues server wide. So I, I think that's the only reason why they don't really do anything like that all in regular. We got a Shadow Moon 14. Are we going to get enough people to do a Shadow Moon 14? Or do I drop it to like an 11 and just run it? Because this character is not super geared 
I imagine we could get a group for a 14, though, right? If it was a 15, I think it'd probably be much, much easier. Let me see, actually. AK. Does that have my... Oh, it's actually a lot better at capturing keys. 12, Temple, and a uh, Shami. 10, Azure, Vault, and a Death Knight. Dude, they ain't doing that one. 21, Halls of Valor and Rogue. That's pretty good, actually. Ruby Life Pool is not the best, but, like, they did nerf it, so, like, I could heal it. Explosive this week with Sanguine. Oh, it is Sanguine Explosive, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I'll let you guys decide what we're playing. I'll let you chat decide. Because we got a couple of choices, man. Either I'm thinking I'd do maybe a Priest, potentially play some Disc Chat, because I've been liking Disc a lot. Maybe potentially a Hunter. Or... I'm feeling Shaman, man. Shaman, Priest, or Hunter. You guys decide, man. Shaman, Priest, or Hunter. Hunter, I'm definitely going to do survival. We'll probably do my SBG. Shaman, I could probably join a key. I could do like my 12 or I could do just join maybe like 12, 13 anywhere. Because I feel like this character got a bit of gear. And then Priest, we could probably be Shadow, but I probably would end up disking it because I don't have enough gear. The DK hate? No, no, no. It's not the DK hate, man. I played DK yesterday. I definitely want to get the DK done. Hunter, Disc Priest, Shaman, you guys all over the place. New to the game, I have no idea what I'm doing. Do you have any tips on which to start an adventure? Honestly, make a character pick a class that you think is kind of interesting kind of fun kind of cool if you're not sure i would pick a hunter if you're literally brand new hunter is a fantastic choice pick whatever race looks cool and start there that's about it and i would do the introductory zone like the, when you make a new character um when you make a brand new character it should ask you to make like i think like an introductory wait no not with these guys i think it's just a vanilla races right hold on real quick I think it is vanilla, right? Random. It should ask you whether you want to start like the original zone or Exiles Reach. As a brand new player, start with Exiles Reach. It has a bit of a tutorial. It's a bit more narrative driven. There's a little bit more of like updated visuals, updated everything that will get you started. Like playing the game, what a quest is, get you into your first dungeon once you finish leveling. You just If you're literally brand new, start with that one. I would just level focus on leveling your character. There's a good chance, like if you got Dragonflight, it's like, oh, level boost, boost now. I feel like if you boost a character, they'll give you a bit of a rundown how to play your character, but it'd still be kind of confusing. I would really just do Exile's Reach. And once you're like, okay, I feel like I understand the game. I feel like I'm understanding the comfortability until like questing, class, all that stuff. Like once you feel more comfortable, you guess you can do a boosted character and jump into Dragon Isles. Um there's a lot more going on right now, like this whole talent tree we got going on with this expansion. It's a lot more in-depth, so I wouldn't really just start with your character. I feel like that would be the best way of going about it. And once you're comfortable, you get an idea what the talent trees is, you got yourself like level 20 maybe. You can kind of like adapt that towards higher level, because then you got the bases, and then you can kind of jump into Dragonflight. But it's really up to you, my guy. I would definitely start at the beginning. Speedrunning reaches still faster anyways. Speedrunning reaches still faster. Go Holy Priest, I've been thinking Holy. Holy's getting a bit of a buff in Tunnel 5. I'm not a big Holy gamer because I'm just bad at it. But I definitely would want to give it a go at some point. So what did you decide, chat? We got one for Sham, one for Hunter, one for Disc, and what are we saying Holy, dude? Do we just do Priest? Because if we do Priest, the only one I'm comfortable with right now is Disc. I got to play that a bit. Holy, I won. We need to get my Town Tree. Second, I need to set up all my binds. Third. <sighs> priest. Holy. Oh, come on, you guys. Oh my goodness, yo. Did we do Holy or Disc then? Holy or Disc chat. Because I do have a Disc Priest build that I've been playing. And Shatter Disc should be a lot stronger with the new patch. Started out as a Fury two weeks ago on almost 770. There you are. So so then at least you got a little bit of level in my guy. That's awesome. BM Hunter. Disc Mindbender build XD. Disc Mindbender full Shatter build. So that one will work once the new update is out. Right now, it won't work at all, bro. Holy... Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys are out of, out of pocket right now. So have a fun survival spec for M+. Plus. I, I have a really fun survival spec for M+, plus when you want to try it out. Sounds good, Charles. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll try a thematic build, dude. I'll give it a go. But as the build that I have on my uh, disc boost right now, it's a very Healy build because it, it needs to be a Healy build. It has a little bit of stolen psyche, which is going to be so much stronger once the new patch is out. This gets baked into this in initially, and you get a mind blast power, so you just get better talents in general. And they even make it like powered solos function with all these talents right here, like this whole like this this whole like thing, all of these. They all get buffed up, and it's going to be nice for like a holy build. Like a Holy Radiance build, rather than like a, uh, what is it, the, what, shield build, heal build, 
you know you'll actually be able to do a bit of damage you can lean into it a little bit uh disc water one disc okay okay we'll do this we'll do this we'll do this do i speak mandarin i uh, no not at all not a bit what do i have ruby you know what we don't have to do ruby we can find ourselves better grounds chat we can maybe do an Algathar's academy would an Algathar's academy work well I, what's my score by the way it's probably not great is it it's just a score i need a temple of jade serpent though i need a temple temple oh, okay i guess Algathar it is Oh, double priest into a pallet? Yo, what a group. <laughs> I like it. Alrighty, I'm a big fan. Let's get ourselves like a little bit of a... I got a chance, so at least it's good. Let's get a flask real quick. I don't even know what flask you get as a healer. Maybe you just get the versatility one, just so you can have a little bit of defense, a little bit of healing. Let's do it, dude. Let's just, let's just give ourselves stats. And I don't think I could really do much else, can I? I could also get a rune, though. Um, Rune. That's a consumable, consumable ruin. It's, it's like a buzzing ruin, right? Buzzing chirping. Also, a high chance to heal your target for additional. I think I just go howling ruin, right? Yeah, I just go howling ruin. Just get myself a bunch of haste. That'll be better. Because I am a little behind on haste on this thing. But it can make it work. We can make it work, chat. And then hopefully by then. Matux will be back and we can do a real key with him. Maybe take my evoker, get a 15, 16 out of the way, get some of those alts done. That or Matux got a real big key, like an actual one. Let's destroy this place. Hey, yo, this guy's got a good attitude. We got us as a mage, we got us as a warrior. Do we have a B res? Paladin, actually. I was about to say for a second, dude. I'm still I still can't get over the fact that Paladin actually B reses. Uh this place got a lot easier. Yeah. It's very, very it's much easier now it is tyrannical so as long as these guys are like okay pop and cooldowns for like all the bosses and whatnot i think it'll be all right because i did do this guy over as a uh, what is it key halls when i had no gear one time on stream chat we did it as a halls and that worked out pretty well for all them big doug let's get doug in here dude let's get doug what's doug doing what's doug doing out here we'll get the greek warrior Monk should have 17, 18. That's pretty good. I do need a bunch of 20s. At least like four 20s. I gotta get more quartz, man. I'm still fiending for that trinket. And it's tyrannical quartz. So it should be like ins insanely easy. I feel like tyrannical quartz is even easier than fortified. Oh, there's like a lot of mobs you just gotta fight. And so many kicks you gotta do. But like Gerdo doesn't do anything. You just do a dance. Don't get hit by nothing. Don't have to worry about nothing. It is actually so easy. What even PI here, honestly? Mage, I guess? I can PI the mage. Or I can PI the warrior? Should we get like a figure out like a, the order who would PI, get PI who? Because I'll just PI the mage, I guess. But I don't even know what the mage got cooldowns. I, I don't know if Miyomi wants to go PI in people. Because we got four PIs for the party, dude. Actually, easy. I need a pog more and get the XP so I can get to the 20s groups, dude. Yeah, it's all about part of it is gear, part of it is score. But it's such a like such a weird combo of like gear score type of deal. All right, we go haste here. Breeze is still very very haste heavy. Gotcha. I can't wait to do a full shadow build. Shadow builds are gonna be so much more doable. It's gonna be so nice. But for now, we're just gonna do all this healy build. It is a uh, what is it? We got tyrannical. So I wonder if he's gonna pull everything or just do the bugs first and then tyrannical afterwards. Looks like bugs first. And then tyrannical after. Or not? Oh, wait, no, this NPC's walking. This mob's walking in. Do -do 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 -do. Get to shadow more deadly things? I think I can. Like, I think I get a buffer rate and everything. Do -do 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 -do. All right, big pull, big pull, big pull, big pull, big pull, big pull, maybe? Big? And get maybe those guys over here? All of it? Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, Greek, Greek warrior. You do your thing, my guy. I guess I'm on that uh, explosive duty. I'm doing no healing then. I can be on my games a guy once. I got them. I got them. I got explosives. I'm literally priest. Oh, God. My guy. Oh, he got disoriented. That's why. Yeah, so sniping these things pretty is pretty easy. I just need to get this as dotted. 
so I can actually heal properly. Otherwise, I'm not really healing. Ow. Uh, I guess it works. I wish there was a better way of going about dealing with those explosives. Like, I wish, like, uh, execute worked a little bit better. Like, to get a heal rolling. Because otherwise, I'm just, like, hitting them with a, the, uh, dot. And it's just, like, it loses out value because I want the dot to take out the entire time, you know? And I just don't really get the good healing out of it, the initial heal. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's have a bit of a heal. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess it'll work out, but it definitely feels like I'm losing on value in healing. Uh, is smite damage healing allies pure damage? Or is it just pure damage? Smite is healing allies. It is atonement healing. Like, I put up a, a, a healer over time effect on an ally. And then all my abilities, smite and all these other abilities, all of them, the damage that I do... Heals an ally that has atonement on him. So like, I put a shield on the guy, he got atonement. I put some renews, that gives him atonement. So all my damage, smite, all the other abilities, all end up healing allies whenever they do damage. Any damage that I do ends up healing allies for a portion of the damage done. It's basically how that works. So it's not exactly that smite itself heals, but it's like all abilities heal because of the atonement mechanic. Atonement causes them to get a heal. Just kill a healer add it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I got a piece of a wall, sadly. My current shoulders are better. I can't upgrade the tier piece I got. Wait, and I can't upgrade the tier piece I got. Wait, hold on. You got a tier? I think tier is better than your shoulders, even if it's like lower item level. Like, tier in general is a lot stronger. Isn't it? I'd be very, very surprised if tier is not better. Very, very surprised if tier is not better. Okay, I'm gonna give that guy a buff. Oh god, what, what happened? Oh, that man actually may need a bit of heal. Hold on, we do one of these. I do need to do AoE though. I need to do a little bit of AoE. Do one of these. And we're gonna blast. As long as this guy doesn't get a cast off, like a proper cast off. Oh, or aggro on me. That too. As long as we don't have aggro on me, I'll be okay. Get a heal, boys. Oh, they made that so much easier. Ah, okay. Mommy, you don't have a uh, way to cleanse this up, do ya? So I'm just gonna have to watch you the entire game, huh? Okay, let's just do one of these. Everybody dome up. Dome up, man. Dome up. Get cheeked up. Oh, God. I gotta take care of these things now. You boys are not making this easy. I literally popped a dome for you. I have no mana, by the way. So we're kinda... Well, we ain't healing. <laughs> We're healing through procs only. But value healing is all you get. Big value. Yeah, I literally am gonna have to wait until you guys are in execute range, man. That priest is still taking damage. All of us are taking damage, in fact, actually. That's not great. Big execute. Maybe that helps us a little bit. You get a bit of healing. Uh, you're about dead. Do a big heal. Killing me. My man, you gotta get in there. Ah! <laughs> He's just staying out of the green circle, my guy. Help me. I don't have to heal if you do that. Okay, I'm gonna need to do this. Get a couple of dots here and start doing one of these. That guy is dead. Greek war. I have no mana. <laughs> I had no mana at the end, dude. I need to do some mana. Okay, mana potion. That's about all I got. Wait, is that the good one? Chill your body alone to focus, allowing you to restore mana over 10 seconds your defenses. Oh, okay, I made a mistake. All right, then. I did not realize. I was thinking that was a normal healing potion. I probably not, though. Here we go, warrior. You got this. Big PI, have fun. We'll be fine, though, chat. We'll be okay. Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, as long as I don't take damn. Oh, God, you gotta fly. Oh. <laughs> that guy's gone. Oh god. Please. Oh no, please. Make it easy for me. <laughs> that is my favorite part is when people just go flying, bro. That is hilarious. Mage food? Oh yeah, mage food. Do we have mage food? I'll ask him for food after this. I'll ask him food for thought. Yeah. Let's get that execute in there. Big heal. I gotta get in melee with somebody. Where are we? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, uh, you're dead. Unless you're fine. 
Wait, you bubbled that. That's not great. It probably panicked, but probably it was a good panic. Just if you got a panic bubble like that, just just make sure we uh we get a uh, what is it? A taunt. Uh, mage food plus smiley face. Hey, mage friend. Real quick, real quick. Just give me some food. Food. Food, please. I didn't say mage food, please. Is this not start drinking pool? He got himself food. Can I get food? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Wait, can't click it. Jesus. All right, cool, cool. Go. Go. We're good. As soon as I just need to start drinking, start eating as we get in the pools done. That's all I need, man. Okay, you guys are going to have to help me here. Also, these things are all going to sanguine, by the way. So it's going to be super annoying. Any knockbacks you got? Use them. Warrior, what a nice guy, man. What a nice warrior guy. What a nice warrior boy. Please don't land any birds on me. Oh, come on, Douglas. Not their fault. Let's go to the racial, and we'll go for a bit of mana here. And big blasters while we're at it. We just I don't want to heal them. So we're just going to go shield them. I don't actually want to heal people right now. That's what I learned as a priest. Like, if you don't actually want to heal them, just go for shields. It's so much easier. Just hit him with a shield. I'm definitely gonna have to be a little bit more careful with my positionings for that one. What should we get a bird? I got in combat, but at least it wasn't bird. Alright, I actually gotta heal him. And I'm going to do the whole mechanic here. I think we do three uh, stacks and then we switch. Three stacks and we switch. I honestly feel like this boss is probably one of the harder ones right now. Like compared to like the tree man, tree man is easy. God, I can't wait to go full shadow on this thing. This mind blasting. Because you get two charges on mind blast shadow. It's going to be so good. Bad mage? That's all good, man. Uh, when the healers are loading behind, they really need... Uh, when the healers that are loading be loading behind are really only a high keys. What does that mean? Having to, uh, having to jump 80k DPS on the back in temple? Really? Does everyone make a tier list? Uh, see, uh, people use them in, as gospel and not even lower keys. are like, I don't want a rest of shaman or whatever. Yeah, that does happen. All that like meta play and like tier list, that does end up trickling down into like casual low level keys too, man. Happens way too often. It's super unfortunate. But as a reality of things, I don't agree with it either, honestly. Okay, we should be chilling. Plenty of chilling. Only really gotta watch out for the uh, Pala whenever you get slapped by that. That's about all. Honestly, like, he can just heal himself half the time, too. Uh, okay, cool. That's fine. Oh, God. Rendo. You gotta die. All right. Three... We can live this for now. Savage pick is gonna hurt a little bit. Or you can just remove it. That's fine, too. Are we doing red immediately? Or waiting? Oh, we did zone immediately. Okay. That's fine. I'm just gonna DM then. As much jam as we can. Not much you can do. Normally, you just kind of try to delay it. You don't really want to use the uh, the goal that early. Or really, in fact, you don't want to use the goal at all. I know it's like counterintuitive, counterintuitive, because it's like, well, don't you want to use the goal in order to like live the fight or you know do damage to the boss? But and when it gets into higher keys, it changes priority completely. You don't really want to use the goal because now you have fire to dodge, and you mostly want to use it to reset the boss debuff. Because this debuff right here, the Sonic Vulnerability, you reset it by doing the goal thing. You reset it with the goal strat. Oh, okay. That's not great. Uh, Probably wipe, yeah? Unless you can somehow live it. Okay, maybe give him like pain suppression. That's about all. Oh god.
I can heal him a ton. Oh god. Yeah, I can heal him a ton. Oh, he's gonna die. 100% dead. Unless he somehow lives. I just gotta straight up heal him. Just just plant heals into him the entire time. Wait, can you actually do this? Hunt the hunt. Can you actually do this? Oh no. Oh, whoever's got it, man. Kill it! <laughs> Yo, we did it! <laughs> How did we do that? How did we just live that? Dude, that blade's terrifying, man. That blade is terrifying. <laughs> but we did do it, man. <laughs> Chad Warrior, man. Hold on. Chad Warrior. <laughs> Chad Warrior, what a what a what a homie man! He's just like, all right, I'm taking it now. <laughs> just took it. Hello, what's up, you're right, hey, my man? Do you think your arms are gonna be better in coming patch? Fury for sure. Arms, I'm hoping so. Arms is a weird one because it's not necessarily getting in better in obvious ways, but it should be better. It's not getting better in a very very obvious way. Yeah. But it's getting new stuff, it's getting new, like, abilities. Which I think should make him a lot stronger. It new playstyle choices too, new playstyle options. Which I think overall is gonna be helpful. Uh oh. I got you boys. Oh god. Don't walk in the thing. Don't wanna sing Weenie Ling Weenie. Yeah, they're getting like a big, like, uh, ex not execute build. It's called like a. They get like a talent that extends the duration of the avatar as well as cost of smash by a crazy amount. It reduces the damage and effectiveness by 40%, but it's like a lot longer. So you have like 40 seconds of avatar for 18% damage increase. I feel like that would be kind of significant damage wise. Just something, something tells me that's probably going to be a significant number of damage that you do with that one. Watch it, boys. Good. As long as you guys are watching yourselves, man, I can just supplement healing with, uh... What is it? Atonement healing? I got no mana, though. I'm about to burn a lot of mana fighting these guys. I'm not sure if that's, like, me playing this space poorly, or if it's just, like, the group, right? The group is just taking a lot more hits than normal. But I can at least do one of these. Pull up, start eating, and I'm good. Now my mana should be okay for the most part. And I'm chilling. So as he's walking in, I can always hit him with a shield. As long as he got that silence, which is perfect, he's gonna be okay. We go for like a uh, quick mind games combo. Big damage, big healing. Trying to maximize the value of my heals and damage too, as best as I can. That's a good crit. Oh, uh, hey now, back for us on holiday for a 16. Let's go, dude. Huge. What could you get for that 16? I definitely do want to try Frost though. Last time on holy was working really, really well, but I definitely want to give Frost a go again. It's been a bit. I'm gonna get a mind bender in here. As long as you have all those dots and people on all the mobs, like my healing is gonna be like really, really solid. Just gotta make sure that all that is there. Oh, that's unforge. That's actually super unforge because look at them. Just gonna end up healing from it. That is very, very unfortunate. Yeah, and we just gotta pull him through all the sanguine linguinis. Do do the quick uh, frost on holy. I do frost. I would do the frost honestly. And really, any class of spec played uh, moderately well could finish up keys future and higher for sure. No, this. I mean, every spec is able to do a twenty. Like right now, every spec is able to do a twenty just fine. But there are some classes that do make dungeons easier. Right? Some classes that I do end up kind of being like a carry in a way. Yeah, I don't really have a way to like heal everybody right now. So, it's gonna be a little bit uh, awkward. 
I actually just have to heal myself here. Ow. Uh, some hots on everybody. Or dots on minimis, which is gonna be turned to hots on everybody else anyway. Actually, I have to like spend my time healing people. Oh god. Please. Arcane Rain, no. <sighs> okay. Need to get some dots in here. Okay, now we can actually properly heal people. Now we should be okay. As a disc priest, you definitely want to make sure you get all your dots on everybody. And try to maintain them as best as you can. If they ever start falling behind on your dots, you gotta fall behind on your healing in general. And it's like having to drop people up and then having to deal with explosives. Where normally healers are the ones that do explosives. I do notice that's a little bit struggle with bust for me right now. But I do wonder like if I go full pain suppression or pain shadow ward build or a shadow build. I imagine that would be a little bit easier because I believe that this actually costs more mana than a normal shadow ward pain. Right? So Purge the Wicked, like not having Purge the Wicked probably would help me out a bit here. I want to try to see if I can line up big old mind games against his eye beam or his, his frontal beam here. As best as I can. And I am playing Priest, maybe I should be able to line up like a really good like... Ah, uh, I'm just gonna hold on to it. I can mind uh, master spell as well. Mind games this. The guy takes less damage. Give the spell. Don't need the spells in otherwise. There you go, friend. I see you popping cooldowns. Maybe I see you popping cooldowns a little late though. Oh god. Oh god. Did he bubble that? Probably might have bubbled something. Probably might have bubbled something funky just now. Trying to give big healing if I can. There we go. Oh god! My man just took so much damn. I don't think he moved for that one. Alright. Nice, thank you, priest. This priest on the job, man. This priest on the prowl, help me out. And honestly, what a homie. Oh god. Nice. We almost didn't make it. There are moments where this paladin just takes so much damage, I'm not really sure exactly what's hurting him, man. We barely made it, but man, my mana. My mana, bro. What is hitting that guy so hard? I don't know I'm sure how you drop like to zero health. But yeah, it's crazy, man. Perfect percent in the last boss? Yeah, I guess so, honestly. <laughs> Dal quick frost uh, uh drink. Yeah yeah trying to drink as fast as I can. Got a little bit of mana working. Oh, is he gonna double pull it? I think he is not. Maybe in a bit of trouble. Yo, dome it. Take it easy on me. Easy on all of us. Beautiful. Nice, now we're chilling. Uh that spear is a good move. Generally is a good move. Not in that situation, but normally I like that. Probably should pi item too, honestly, there. Huge. Nice, I would just go in. We're chilling. Is it the warrior? Oh, that was the warrior, it wasn't even the tank. I was just like, look under the warrior, like, is he gonna go in? <laughs> it's just like, I'm a tank, bro. Why are you sending me out there? <laughs> oh, man. Gives the boys a bit of a heal. God, I love Atonement healing. Honestly, one of my favorite healers out here. That and the upcoming uh, changes to Holy Pala. Oh, that's going to be so good, chat. I'm very excited about those. I'm very excited about those. That's going to be great. Alrighty, we're almost done with this key. So far, so good, man. 11 Algathar. I feel like I can do 12 easily. This character, I don't know. I have the item level, like any other character I've been playing on. 386 item level, I'd feel pretty confident. Priest, I guess it's just been out of like the whole priesty thing for a while, man. I don't feel super confident with it anymore. 
like I used to. All right, hopefully we do the bomb. Hopefully we do the bomb correctly. Let's actually feel them. Just to make it easier for our guys. We're gonna give him PI. Uh, and you're probably dead, unless I heal you. Actually heal you. I'll say to use that ability more often. I need to use Halo a lot more. Or not Halo, but Divine Star. I definitely don't use that ability enough. Uh oh, we made friends. Uh, we made friends. That's not good. That's not good. Big heal. Big heal. Big heal. Uh, big heal. We made a lot of friends, and they're super split. All our friends are split. Oh god, I couldn't do anything for you. I had a heal coming up the last second. That's about all I had for your friend. Ah, it's a bomb. I should have used that differently. It may be okay, actually. Hold on, if you guys just all live for like two seconds. Oh, I'm trying to get some damage rolling. Okay. Uh, probably dead. Ah, oh god. I can heal you. Sorta. Okay. Yeah, I need help with explosives when just that, that many of them, I guess. Oh god. Oh god. Oh mage. Why are you running in? Oh no. Uh, what I could maybe do is I could probably just keep the pool rolling, right? So we don't have to wipe. Just keep it rolling. Let the tank pick him up, right? As long as we avoid, like, the line of sight on things, we will be okay. For the most part. As long as we avoid the line of sight on explosive, we will be okay. If we can pick up aggro, that would be fantastic, too. Like, we can actually still keep it going. We don't have to wipe entirely. That actually works out okay. I'm actually fine with that. Hey, Dal. What's up, Declan? How you doing, fam? Yo, you want to get some keys done? I think my chick should be ready to get some keys in a bit. Or you got a busy schedule for the day, because then you've been like... Last time we talked, you said house stuff. I don't know if you guys are still finished. I, if you guys are finished up with that or not. If that quieted down. But how are you doing, fam? Hope you're having a good one. I'm trying to keep everybody alive with a priest, man. The keyword trying. So that should tell you exactly how this run is going. What do we got? Yo, our news. My man's okay. At least he got a bit of atonement. Where'd he go? Uh, did he bubble this? I swear, it feels like this guy just kind of runs in bubbles because he draw. He loses aggro very, very rapidly. Oh, <laughs> poor warrior! Why would warrior have to die? Because the guy ran in, all the mobs are on him, and then the mobs just turn away from the guy and just run outside. Run the opposite direction. I'm not really sure why. Oh god, you're dead. Okay, I don't want to have to heal any of you. Shields. Shields. Who cares for my mana, right? Who cares about my mana? Nobody cares about the healer's mana. Again, I also gotta, know, I gotta go using that ability a lot more often. Uh, he's in that execute range, or at least was for a second. Give me that. Yeah. Alrighty. And out of the, uh, I went out for a Mexico with a bro and he's uh, inebriated. Oh, have fun then. Yeah, have a good time. You're chilling. You're good. <laughs> What's up, 40k? Wins to hit us on barrel. Dude, I gotta give that a go, man. Especially with that cleave and the damage you can do in the ramp up. That's gonna be great. That was my bad. You're good, fam. You're good. Uh, oh yeah, mana. Mana, 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 mana. I'm home and chilling. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Alright. Hopefully we get something good out of this guy. Uh, let me actually double check real quick. What does the Rogosa give, if anything? What can I get? So there is a healer trinket, but I don't know if I actually want it. Oh, you're dead. I literally took, took a, I looked away for like a second, and the man is just dead. What happened? Here you go, friend. I made a mistake, but you get PI. Have fun with it. 
Oh, that was my fault. Please. There we go. So I forgot that this guy is apparently in three casts. Or three stacks of debuff with all in power. So next one for me is gonna spawn a thing on the ground. We'll just keep him here. Oh, he's gonna spawn a thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, at least he moved it. What a ch Chad, bro. This warrior has been awesome, man. I feel like that guy's my favorite. What did I get hit by? What did I get hit by to spawn a thing? They just passively like generate a charge every few seconds or something? Because I'm pretty sure I never got hit by anything. That's gonna hit me. Oh god, that hit everybody. That's a big heal though. Uh, as long as we're okay. <laughs> that breath, I guess, has a much wider arc than I imagined it would. Did I just say demerit points for you? Oh, okay. I thought she. It sounded like there was a gnome from like the second boss or whatever. Alright, what do we get? Nothing? Alright, beautiful. Anybody get anything that I could use, potentially? That is score. That is like 100 points of score. <laughs> in a 10. Oh, uh, anyone need? Ah, uh, nope. Breastplate. There is a mask. Need... Helm? Priest? Do I use it? I do use it. It's haste. Maybe? Yo? Potentially? Yeah, okay, okay. He does need a helm. Maybe Mage got something? No, it looks like Big Dog didn't get nothing. A big Dog. Wait, do you actually need it? Hold on. You have a 392 helm, and you're wearing a 392 helm. Okay. Sure. Yep, that's fine. I mean, I guess technically it could be best second or stats for him, so he's like, yeah, I'll take it. But, like, it does give it that bad feeling of, like, well, it is the same item of us, so I guess you don't technically need it because it's only a slide upgrade. But then again, it's like, he got it, so, like, what else can you do, right? What else can you do? I don't know, man. That's unfortunate. But we did get one of those uh, cores, so I gotta get, like, at least 11s, 12s, 13s done. So at least I can use that for crafting gear. And I really gotta get this guy into like LFR or something. I know the item level from there is not fantastic, but getting that tier I think is gonna be kinda nutty. What are the tier set bonuses even? I can't I don't how do I even look it up? Can I even look it up? Does it go vault? Yeah, I can't even like see what it is. At least I don't think I can. Until I get creation catalyst. That or I find a priest with one. I just look it up online. But like there's nothing in game that really has it, yeah? Maybe I'll find a piece out here. Warrior, Druid, Hunter, Evoker, Pala, a Death Knight, Druid, Warlock, Pala. Maybe you guys priests. Hunter, Warrior, 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 Shaman. I've noticed a lot of Warriors. I noticed a lot of Warriors. That and Death Knights. <laughs> Them and Death Knights. Warlock. Warrior. That's oh, a priest. Hold on. Do you have it? Tier. Power word shield increases the effectiveness of your next direct damage and heal by 10%. That's kind of nice. Penance increases the strength of your next power word shield by 60 of its, da uh, of its damage or 18% of its healing. Oh. Okay. So 60% of the damage. It does. Okay. That's kind of a good tier set, I think. I don't know. Maybe Holy has a better one. But I have no idea, honestly. Alrighty. What is it, 17 SMB Shadowman Burial Grounds? Dude, that's actually doable. That's actually very, 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 very easily doable. That's that's easy. That's an easy key. That's actually nothing. That's a good key. Do you want to do that or do you want to start with one of the smaller keys of the Because I want to see what the key this guy got. Hello, Dallas. Sad no matter how hard I tried and do the damage with my rogue, but I realized I had two tank weapons. You had strength weapons, didn't you? I mean, if you had literally strength weapons, yeah, that would do it. That would do it. Unless they have like some kind of a bonus effect, that would do it. <laughs> Wait, how would you get tank weapons? Did you get like a world boss? Like a, a super rare? Get like a strength weapon? Get a big weapon? You're like, oh, Pog, item level. 
and just slapped it on there just like oh huge and it's like well why am i why don't i have the why do i have less agility than every other rogue out there i did get in the lockman last night massive you see what else i have yeah go for it yeah, what do i want to do my guy i got a 14 azure vault that ain't getting done nope tyrannical hell no <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, technically I should for score at some point in this character, but like, I don't want to have to, you know what I mean? Don't make me do it, dude. Don't make me, man. <laughs> uh, after this one, uh, next reset. Yeah, 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 that's when 10 of 5 comes out. You ever raid lead? Not amazing out of Dewey. I did make a couple of calls, like whenever uh, Euro's out, because he's usually GM lead and everything, but... Like, not amazing at it at all. It's a lot for me to manage. I feel like if I played a different class, or if I was just like, if I was like a 21 man, right? I was watching a stream, and I was making call-outs based on like timers on, um, you know, DBM or whatever, mechanics or whatever. I feel like that I could probably do pretty okay with. But like, playing the game and doing raid call-outs, my damage is going to suffer. So then I'm like, start getting self-conscious about my damage. And then it's just like, if I'm paying attention to the, paying attention to the class, where well, there's a lot going on with Outlaw. I would not say it's big brain, but it is a lot more like involved than like, okay, roll the bone, roll the bone, roll the bone. Okay, buff. Okay, finisher, 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 like it used to be. Um, there's a lot going on with the ambush build specifically. So I haven't tried it, but I already know I wouldn't be great at it with where my class is at. If I was playing like a much, much easier class, maybe that'd be a lot easier. Or like healers, apparently healers usually have it like a little bit easier because healers like there's downtime and there's uptime inside of the cooldowns, but it's most like they can see the big picture and they have a prepositional thing about stuff and they usually can call mechanics pretty easily because their rotation isn't like a rotation, it's more like situational uses of abilities rather. There's a filler and if somebody's low you pop some heals, but then there's usually like a big cooldown you throw out whenever big damage comes out. You know what I mean? I guess it also depends what healer. This specific would be one of the harder ones. But like Residue, maybe, Shaman, maybe, especially if you play the Battle Shammy. I imagine that's a lot easier. I never knew uh, that much went into raid leading, so I thought I'd, uh, so I thought it uh, just involved getting grouped together. I mean, there's a lot going on, man. It definitely is a lot, because you're calling people's timers, you're calling for people's uh, mechanics, you're telling people what to watch out for. You basically, like, you know how DBM basically tells you like five, four, three, Two, a mechanic is going to happen. You're the person telling them that. Like, when it comes to, like, kicks, where weak are is there to tell you, like, oh, wh who got which kick, you got to be able to call it out as well. You also got to be able to watch out the boss position. You got to know where the boss is at. You just got to basically tell the raid where to go, where to be. Even if it's one of those things where it's, like, they should know where they should be. They should know what they're doing. You just got to call it out, even if it's super, super obvious. you just there to announce all of it. Yeah. Um, and micromanaging people too, like that's very, very slight micromanagement, but it's really just all about like running through the play again and again and again and again and again. Even if it's something they've done like a billion times, you're still doing it. It's, it's been very, very helpful, especially when like somebody can just like where a good raid leader can make it so much easier for like the DPS to just turn the brain off and do big damage, slam damage. And for healers, for tanks, all of them, they just like know exactly where to be. So they don't have to worry about like where to be, where to go, all that stuff. Also, you could give like warning signals and stuff. Okay, watch out. This mechanic is going to happen. You may want you to personal, personally here. All right. Uh, Shockwave comes in five, four, three, two. But a lot of it is like you have add-ons that tell you that stuff anyway. But having somebody call that stuff out with a weak R or whatever, super helpful. Super helpful. And there's also the stuff like uh, raid leads. I guess it depends what you're doing, right? Are you just like leading the raid, telling them what to do? Or are you like also organizing like roster and stuff like that, right? And gear, distribution, all that stuff. Because usually all those roles kind of cascade into one. Extra layer of security? Basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. But you also got to have the patience of a god because the raiders are going to be... They say raiders, man. Come on, dude. They're not like not all raiders are gonna be top tier gamers out there. You know what I mean? Absolute blasters, vault divers, extraordinaire, or anything like that. You know, so it's it's a, you gotta it's a balance. It's a nice a balance of it all. Ten is your vault, is your okay? We ain't doing vault. All right, Matukes, let's get a nice key started. What do you want to run, Matukes? Which character do you want to play on? Actually, chat. What do you guys want to see next? I want to do hunter, death knight. Or shaming. One of those three. 
get a note out of the way. DPS parses are more important than mechanics. No, 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 no. It should be the other way around. It should be the other way around. Mechanics are a lot more important than parses. Parses come down once you get the mechanics down. You do the mechanics right. It should be the other way. <laughs> other way. Survival? Yeah, Charles, I probably should play survival and try your build. DK, DK. Okay, okay. Whatever you guys want to say, man. Whatever you guys want to do. What you want to see in the chat the most is one we'll do, man. How does that sound? We'll keep it fair for everybody. Which I want to see the most. So you guys let me know, man. DK, Hunter, Shamey. Hit me with it. Mechanics overall? Yeah, mechanics definitely over everything. The raid lead is there to make sure people are not parsing. But raid leader is there to make it easy if you are looking to like parse, right? If you're just looking at the damage, raid leader does make it easier in terms of like... I guess I should put it in a different way. Raid leader makes it so that you don't have to worry about mechanics because you'll be able to call it out. So you can focus on doing damage. Because a lot of fights out there that wear damage and do big damage does make a difference. It makes the fights easier. Most cases or not, it does make the fights much, much easier, much quicker. Things die faster. Mechanics don't overrun the group or whatever. So that is important. But it shouldn't be like prioritize damage over mechanics. But a raid leader can basically make those like decisions for you. Like a good raid lead will be able to help you make those decisions like, okay, move. Don't DPS. You're moving. You're constantly adjusting. And then you just follow the raid lead. You turn your brain off. Do what you tell you. You win the fight. So it kind of has to be like, yeah, like it's a mix of both. Mix of both. Uh, but it only it only works if the raid, if the party actually wants to listen to ya too so that's why i said like yo as a raid lead you also need a patience of a god because not everything is gonna go the way you want it and that's that's just the that's just the that's just the cycle of things you don't always get what you want but you want to try to do the very best you can especially for your raiders survival hunter death yeah hunter let's do it dude let's do hunter Let's get the hunter out of the way. I do love me some survival, dude. I don't know why I keep coming back to the spec. Like, everybody memes on survival, but it's so fun. <laughs> it's so good. Want to show off single body fury? Yeah, we can do that. Fortune halls, I'm down. I'm down. As long as we get us as a pumper tank, pumper healers or whatever. Or homies, that will work. Either one of those things works. Do, 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 do. And I want to see if I can maybe get myself a little bit of more gear in between while we're trying to get a group together. Because it's so fun. My god, it's really good. It is so fun. I have a blast with it. Some of our hunter survival hunter of death, basically, man. Basically. Literally. Never forget ads. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let me get your build real quick, uh, Charles. What is this thing? What build are we looking at here? Uh, import. It's uh, Charles. Build. What is the theme of this build? Grenades. Oh, okay. On tyrannical? You, do you, you want me to go grenades on tyrannical? I was sure about that. Or should I go kill shot? Because normally a, grenades is good, but I think you go kill shot on pure single strike. Oh, you don't run flank and strike. What do you run then instead? Oh, we run in generic allies. So it's like a kill command then. You're taking flanking out of the game entirely. Okay. Interesting. Yep, okay, I guess I'll stick with the grenades, man. I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a try. Alright. We got no death shocker, but we do go heavily into serrated shots. Do you do you actually make sure to serpent sting things then? Like, to make sure that the dot is there if you don't have the grenade for it? Or do you still just play into, like, Mungus Biting and Green Grenade? Like, am I gonna have to press Serpent Sting at some point just to maintain it? Poison helps re uh, reset CDs. Wait, how does it do that? Poison helps reset CDs. Not to maintain. Oh, that's why you're playing into that coordinate assault. Is that what it is? Okay. Interesting. When I go for Mongus Bites, by the way. But I press it when I run into battle. Okay, so you do maybe kind of press it. Alrighty. 
I don't want to see this here. But Among Us bite things. And I get a proc for poison. Does it just say cleave? Does poison cleave? Can't tell. Among Us bite. Among Us bite so far hasn't been able to cleave. Although it does have like play style for Among Us bite cleaves. Oh. I don't think it does cleave. Yeah, it doesn't cleave. I thought for some reason it would do like that cleavy thing that the Serpent Sting normally does. See that? Okay, cool. So you basically just run in and you maybe apply that at the very beginning just to maintain the dots and then you go for grenades afterwards, yeah? Okay, that could work. All right, that could be interesting. Oh yeah, I'm pulling my back. So Butchery resets Grenade CD. Yep, Butchery does reset the Grenade CD. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Do 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 do. Pick it back. Get back here, bud. I gotta do the Siege of Dragon Maiden Keep so I can do one of these and maybe get a good item out of here. But while we're at it, I want to see if I can get a bit of gear chat. We got the world boss. I want to see if anybody doing the world boss real quickly. Because maybe we can get some stuff. You also can get decent gear from the Allegiance of One. And then there's those quests here. That doesn't give me nothing. At least not this week. But I wonder if we get something from alts. Because a lot of those quests are, can be pretty good. Let me just check the world boss real quick. It, it doesn't go there. Uh, so when you have 3 plus target spin to win? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe so. I believe that's how you're supposed to use it. Also, there is a bit of like a thought process of like, well, if you have this ability, then you wanna... And that really pertains to... What is it? Is there a group? Boss is up. With a bunch of skulls, but no group. There's a turtle with a duck on this head? Yo, what? I don't think I've ever seen that. There's like two dudes. That's not enough, we need an army. I'm gonna go back to the Dragon Bay Keep, see if I get some dailies there. Uh, while we were putting a group together, but uh, what was I saying? I lost track of thought. I literally tr lost my train of thought. I was saying something. I think it was about grenades or bombs or something. Oh, butchery. Yeah, so apparently when you get the blue bomb, it puts a bleed. You want to see if you can say three charges of butchery for that. Wait, are we getting a group? We just need a tank. Yeah, what's up, Blood Town? Hi, my guy. <laughs> welcome, welcome. What's for again? Halls? Oh, easy. Dower and Ronan stream? Yo, boys, let's go. Huge. So when you, uh, but yeah, blue bomb. You basically want to try to see if you can save those three butchery charges for the blue bomb. So there's a little bit of like thought process with the survival. Like, do I spam my butcheries? Do I hold on to them? And it's all depends on like which bomb you get. But I guess when you go coordinates all the very beginning, you could just bomb the hell out of a mob or a bunch of mobs instead. So we'll try that. Not playing Death Shocker, that's gonna probably feel weird. But I wonder if that bleed of the grenade play style with the execute stuff is gonna feel a lot better. Because I feel like that could. Because the damage that could do in AOE, like, it's not completely, like, you know, unimportant. Where is it? What is this, I think, yeah. That's not bad at all. Let me see if these guys, because these guys can actually get you, like, 380 item level plus gear. Like these two, depending on their like quests. It's just worth checking them out either way, once a week. I do it on my ults all the time. Uh, so she got nothing. What about you? Worm food. Trinket! Like, do I need it? Uh, I mean, I guess it's slightly better item over than Blazing Essence, but it's not necessarily good. Although, I may still do it. I'll, I'll pick it up. Cause that's still like enchanting stuff because i could always get it and maybe disenchant it and maybe that could be like good materials for disenchanting so at least can be with a little bit of gold so this character can be all set up that or just send it to my main so you can use enchanting we got this nothing here secure legacy nothing here make it a statement nothing here actually yeah not a lot so i guess only i have one quest really 
That or if I want to go maybe do like Primal Storms or something in my free time. Which may not be a bad idea, honestly. Because I can get a bunch of 380 summon pieces. Almost get a tier piece. Or a weird like world tier item. Is the best way to put it? I do love how much world stuff you can do just to like, gear out alts and mains though. I do appreciate the amount of work to put into that though. That's been a lot of fun. Honestly, my favorite part. I think you switch out explosive shot for death shotgun when not matter much. I feel like explosive is way too good in PV in uh, mythic pluses though, isn't it? It's way too much damage to like give it up. I don't believe we got a tank, man. If you guys want to join, by the way, you got like a little bit of gear done an 8 14 before. What a tank for us, you're more than welcome to. Explosive survival? Yeah, dude, I feel like you got it, man. You gotta. You gotta play explosive. It's way too good not to. Uh, you hold Butcher at the beginning of the fight and you get Shrapnel and you get three charges. Mid fight to hold on to it. Also, KC resets from Furman Bomb, reduces Fear of the Eagle a whole lot. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. Do I just ever, like, just get a red bomb and just start spamming it just for cooldown reduction? Just like over cap on my resources, but just do it for CDR. I do gotta get better at that, like knowing when to use the charges of abilities as survival. I'm really, really bad at that right now. Like notoriously bad. Like I recognize that about myself. Like there's no way I'm gonna do that perfectly ever. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I just gotta practice, man. I just hit practice with it. But yeah, no one to use the grenade and whatever. No one went to use the grenades and like how to use the grenades properly. I feel like got a lot more depth now that you can do the feud of the eagle thing in AoE. I need to also figure out a better opener. Like, what do you do for an opener too? Uh I guess if I walk out, maybe it disappears. Yeah, like what is your opener, Philippe? Like how what do you be the better opener right now? Like go roll in, you harpoon in, what do you press? I guess you go coordinate assault, right? But like Afterwards, you go coordinate assault. I know you throw a bunch of grenades. Confirm coordinate assault and go crazy. Okay, that's that's okay. I could I could roll with it. If there's really not that much of like a uh, strict playstyle for it, I'll roll with it. Honestly, I'll take that. I'll take that one to heart. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if this is any good. I don't think that trinket is that good though. I could sim it real quickly. Because maybe it's a little upgrade. A tiny little upgrade. I could use it maybe together with... I probably shouldn't use it together with Coordinated. Probably shouldn't. Just because Coordinated, I'm going to be using from far away to charge in. Hold sim that thing. If it's not good, we're just going to eat it. Turn it into a uh, an item. A thing. It is spread the bleed on different targets so you get 10% hit from each. Is that how it plays with the, this? Oh, okay, you only paid get 10% attack speed. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that actually might be valuable. Just get myself like a huge giga attack speed buff. That may be the play, honestly. That may be the play. Are there any bosses that I missed, by the way? Char is up. Somebody just said Char is up. Try to see if we can fly back over there. Full speed. Tell me Char is still here. Tell me he is. Somebody's yelling. Looks like they just killed Char. I'm not seeing Char anymore. That's unfortunate. Uh, what about this guy? Because some of these super rares can still give decent upgrades. It's very, very RNG, but it can like upscale to like 386 item level, I want to say. Just randomly. Or if anything. I guess the better way to put it, I've had really good luck with them in the past. Really, really good luck with them. But I'm not going to spam out a bunch of Mythic Pluses on my alts, though. Like, even just a bunch of 15s will give me a ton of gear and Valor and score. That would help out a lot. Hey, whenever you guys get over there, can you give me someone? It's a long run. It's a long flight. I got Chakram Explosive Bomb. SS. 
Uh, sh oh, wait, hold on. It says with harpoon. Serpent strike. Oh, serpent sing. Oh, okay. Uh, in a roll rotation, all depends on the bombs. You will just play with them and butchery uh, KC. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's not much about the opener. It's rather like the opener is like really, really simple. It's more about your opener is really, or at least your opener, what you do at the very start of the fight, really depends on like what kind of buffs you have and what bombs you got. Okay. Yeah, that adds a lot more complexity than I'm used to, but that is something I'm still learning. As a team of like this guy, the ear in a ring DPS on the wall, like S guy. Dude, that's huge, Dylan. Big stats, man. You chase mastery. What was this for ya? Let's go check out these guys real quickly. What the Bracken Hyde doing, man? Remember when people were out here in Bracken Hyde all the time farming super rares day in and day out? Just swap on all ults and whatever? Or when people were farming it before, they uh, dropped gear every single time they were up. So people would just swap to group, slay them, swap to group, slay them, just get a bunch of gear out of them. Only score to assault on 4 plus targets if you're using Birds of Prey. Um, not using Birds of Prey, using the Bombardier in this build. This build also doesn't have flank and strike, so it's gonna be interesting, but. I don't know, I kind of like Flink Strike as an ability. I feel like it's impactful enough. It's just like a big hitter. At least I personally like it, I guess. But yeah. I do gotta try out the Bombardier. This isn't my build, though. We're trying to build. Do, 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 do. Is the bear up? So I'm flying over kind of where the bear is at. Bear is not up. Snarl? Noro is not up. Tree man. Not up. And then we got that guy isn't up. Okay, so it looks like the mage left, but it's still we still got a group at least. Need a plus one. If you guys want to join a 414, more than welcome to by the way. Is anybody over there right now? Uh almost. Almost. Okay, so I'll just keep being uh, useless and just keep flying around then. I draw my lucky mother. Welcome to my guy. Yeah, we got a group. It's called uh, Halls of Valor. Dalaran run on stream. You're more than welcome to my man. Uh, I have them in you when you use coordinates or oh, it's a waste. All the grenades. Okay, okay. So you open up grenade, grenade, coordinated, grenade, and I guess you keep grenading, right? Expand your grenades, then butchery the hell out of things. Or, yeah, butchery. And then you go for spear, I guess, yeah? That would be like the perfect opener. Maybe you get super string a couple of times. Did I ask Cobalt? That's a good trinket. I got that one on Priest, so I was pretty happy with it. I do need to see what I, how much damage I do on the... Um, on the Disc Priest, because they do run that trinket. And I try to see if I can like, dot things up and hopefully get it to proc a lot. But I don't know, I didn't look how much damage I did overall. That whole dungeon run, I don't even know if I did a lot of damage. I was probably just super... Because the whole time I was really just like super like, okay, let's heal people, keep them alive, and let's get the explosives down. Try to be the, the good heal, the team player, you know what I mean? Actually kind of useful. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, the focus dump on tanking, flanking. Okay, okay, okay. Focus dump, then flanking. I'm not playing flanking with this build. So this build is by Charles. It's a little different. There's no flank and strike on this one. It instead goes into energetic alley with a uh, big uh, focus regen or focus max increase and kill command generates additional focus. So it really kind of diverts a lot of that into those two. Uh, it plays grenades, it plays viper venom, two points into ruthless, Bombardier with a Ranger, and it does drop Death Shock on four serrated. Not my build, but I'm giving it a go, man. I just want to give it a try. Two charges at the end of CA, of course. Oh, yeah, that's the thing, dude. That's something I got to really get used to. Just grenading the hell out of everything. I got to get better at that. I should have a potion from last time, right? I feel like I didn't use one. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, we're chilling. As soon as we got the key, we'll be good to go. Also, that trinket does not sim well. Wow, 400 de uh, 600 damage loss, actually. Let me see if I can smell this thing real quickly. Unforge. But that'll be okay. <laughs> Unforge, but that'll be okay. <laughs> Wait, specialize this character. Let's do, can I do disenchanting? Inside of the blue, specialize in understanding the magic contained. Uh, profession does the enchanting. What's the one with the disenchanting one? Inspired devotion become uh, tools researching mysteries of dragon isles. Is it inspiration of the blue? Primal extraction. 
Uh, improve a perceiving magical source, allowing you to discover mystical items from enemies, treasures that can be disenchanted into reagents. Which one of those is the disenchanter build chat? Rods and ruses, or is it the inside of the blue? Better recovering magical reagents from items, gaining chance to acquire reagents. Or learn to extract elements within primal elements. Magic. I think it's this one, right? I want to say it's this one. I'm not really like a big disenchanter in this thing. Just kind of picked it up just so I can melt whatever purples I don't need. And use that materials in order to uh, feed them to my main. But uh, yeah, I might as well like try to see if we can just like maximize the extraction bonus then, yeah? Also, how big are we pulling? Just two? Just two. Okay, okay. Oh, these guys. Okay, that'll work. Let's go full coordinated then. Big grenades. Big bombs. Big bomb, big spear. Maybe my pet attack these things. That'll work. Gotta do no damage. Bunch of bombs. Yeah, I got no <laughs> damage on that pull. I actually did nothing. <laughs> I thought I was actually doing stuff. Apparently not, though. Uh, oh, God. That's gonna be me, isn't it? Yeah, that's on Forge. Watch out with the uh, breath, lightning breath. That's gonna be a big pain. Did it take just bubble? I think he did bubble. Man's, man's name is Squishy, but hopefully he's not actually legit, literally Squishy. Maybe the spear will actually do something. He is gonna have to walk him though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just make sure they don't stand in Sanguine. Every time we kill stuff, he's gonna drop Sanguine. And I don't have the coordinate assault here or butchery. Big on Forge. Got it very last second. Very, very last second. Okay, I guess that works out. My damage is atrocious, by the way. That's my potion. There we go. Alright, Luster. We should hopefully be okay. Nothing else to press, I'm just gonna... this... Probably shouldn't have used grenades or as I did. Watch out, front is not safe. Big grenade. Go the red. Just focus dump. I'm gonna get my grenades back really, really quickly here. Here we go. And my damage is kind of low. Okay, not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Not safe. You have to want to back up. Oh god, that man. <laughs> I mean, the guy is living up to the name Squishy, but he's alive. He's okay. <laughs> I'm surprised we actually cleared. I wasn't even potentially clearing at all. God, my damage is atrocious. Ooh. Am I messing something up? I feel like I should be doing far more than this. Far more than 30k. But maybe with my gear, that's pretty normal. We could exit this. So, um, top is safe, or front is safe. Middle is gonna be safe after this, so we should just go middle afterwards. Yeah, just go middle. Just chill there. I do like the way the tank is running this, though. Because a lot of people, like, they'll just kind of go back. So, like, front, back. They'll, like, walk back and forth between, like, areas. Instead of like, oh, let's just walk forward and just sit there. Or like, get a safe spot and just AFK there for a bit. Let's see if I can interrupt that guy when I get a chance. Okay, that hurt. 
<laughs> that was painful. Oh, uh, finally got the rock to sub. I need to learn to sub rogue. Hey, man, have fun with it. It's a really good spec. I think you'll like it a lot. I think you'll have a blast with it. It's in a pretty good spot right now. It's a big up and comer right now. Spec on the rise, bro. It's so good. Uh, also, I don't have a stun, like a pet stun. Which is kind of awkward, but I do have scatter. I should, I think, be using scatter on these mobs when I can. Wait, wrong one. I might have tricked somebody wrong. Oh, I might have tricked the wrong guy. Oh, hopefully I didn't. Hopefully he could hold aggro. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're fine. Got all grenades out. Do my spear thing. More grenades. We're chilling. More grenades again. Gotta blow that it up. Can't really do much against that guy yet. Yeah, dude, I my damage on this thing is so atrocious. I'm gonna do my very best here, Chad. But or, know this: I am playing my very best, but I am very, very disappointed with my performance already. Yeah, no stun is annoying. Yeah, I think definitely it's worth committing points for a stun. I think it's definitely worth grabbing a stun. Okay, these guys. Oh God, that's a hell of a pull. Are we sure you want to do that, friend? Oh, God, uh, scatter them, maybe. Maybe line aside him? Line aside. I would line aside. I would line aside if you can. Yeah, line aside them. Just run away. Oh god. I'm just gonna freeze him for a second. I guess that could work. Like, they're kind of sort of close now. Oh, the spear. I, I need to use spear a lot earlier. She's gonna be out there now, though. I'm a little afraid of her doing her big shot. Etch. Uh, can even interrupt it really properly. Okay, big cooldown reduction on the thing. Snapshot. Root of her. Uh, can I flare? Is that gonna do a thing? That does nothing. Okay, cool. I thought for some reason the flare would get her out and like I'd be able to do stuff. But apparently it doesn't do anything. I got nothing left. I can literally just spear. And she's just taking less damage inside of that uh, camo. Alright, left or right? I think we go left, right? Pull him back maybe? Probably not pull him with a guy. Sent. <laughs> Just send it. Okay, that'll work. Does not support you about like that? Delta, man. I'll try my best, dude. I'll try my very, very best here. Honestly. Honest to God here, man. Okay, let's go coordinated. Let's actually pop cooldowns on cooldown. So that was me using CDs. I don't know if that, that was worth it, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if that did anything at all. Definitely did not feel super impactful. Oh god. <laughs> at least it's not fortified. That would have been one shot. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll look at the damage profile after this. And I'll be like, you know what? Actually, that wasn't bad at all. That was kind of okay. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be disappointed. Like, man, yeah, I definitely felt like my damage was doing something weird. Definitely could feel it. We got an extra? How do we get them? Let me start working on her, yeah? Ow. Mortal who? Big pain. Big pain. Did rage him real quickly. Or not? Thought I had him there. Wow, that felt like a big delay on the enrage. That was weird. A big explosive. Actually, should be on this guy, huh? Hopefully, I get a bunch of the spear. Can kick him for a bit. Can scatter him though. Well, the scatter him in Sanguine probably is not the best idea. Yeah, I really miss that pet stun. Yeah, I'll probably modify this build a little, even a little bit. At least give it a pet stun. Man, my damage though. Wow. Uh, trying out new builds is one of my favorite things right now. Yeah, for sure. I just don't really know how much you can really expand with survival. Like, I feel like... I don't know. Like, uh, maybe there could be like some really wacky cookie build. 
But I gotta explore this class some more. Although so far it just has been feeling kind of rigid for me. There's like potential behind the spec. Oh god, tank please. At least just aim him away. So I got coordinate assault for the next group here. We'll pull the guy down below. I could coordinate assault them with grenades. I think you gotta go a lot heavier on grenades if you do the uh, bombardier, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, okay, let's go for grenades. I need more grenades. Big bombs. I got the blue bomb. Which is huge. Another big cleave. Another blue bomb. I got all the bombs again. God, those bombs are huge. I think I want to hold down my explosive shot at this point and use it. I'm trying to look for the tank is so difficult. Two paladins, can tell. Uh, I don't want to do this. Blast? Yo, <laughs> that blast hurts. <laughs> yeah, there you want to be extra careful. Oh god, even more careful. There's more like you and all that. Rip. Yeah, it's all good. I don't know if we want to res or if we just want to run. That's in Tyrannical, too. I made a mistake, didn't I? I don't really have a proper butchery. Man, it's like, we really gotta reposition these mobs just a little bit. Cause like, that blast is a frontal. They all got a frontal spear attack. Like, I wish at least those frontals were turned in the same direction. Look, I just gotta get cleaved! Please, at least keep them in the same spot! <laughs> I don't really know where to position to effectively do damage when we have them that way. <laughs> okay, well they're both low on health, so that's gonna be big executes, big cleaves, big crits. Maybe just scatter them for a second. Oh, scatter removes all my dots. That's so lame. Okay, definitely gotta move them. Now the question is, is he gonna do them one at a time, or is he gonna pull like both into one another? Because that's what a lot of people do in tyrannical. Yeah, I'll even fortified. Pull one into the next. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Oh god. For some reason I thought I had the ability to like charge back in. I'm actually gonna pop my stuff here. I'm gonna pop coordinated. Get a couple grenades in there. Ow. I'll try to see if I can get a grenade before coordinator runs out. So I can get another grenade. Do another blue bomb. Get those bleeds rolling in. Big defensive. I need more practice with the spec. Because I feel like I can't... So I guess what I'm trying to figure out is I just don't know if I'm just like... There's specific rules to how you use abilities and it's just like... Well, am I not doing damage because I'm not following those rules to a T? Or is it like... The rules are kind of there and that's like to min-max the damage. But like your damage profile should be a lot higher. You just don't really have any gear down. Also they changed these by the way. To try to make it easier. And I feel like they are easier to dodge. I feel like that is a lot easier to dodge. Anybody else? That's visually so much easier. Because they, they, normally they kind of like have this like shimmer where they kind of like move forwards at you. But like there's a little bit of like a jiggle to it. But there there's no jiggle. It's just con just, like, just moving at you. In a steady line. I feel like it was so much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it main SV? How you, uh, are you playing anymore or not? Nah? I can probably get a melee, huh? Oh, that is so much easier. Oh, I can't wait to do it on my rogue, dude. I never got to even try the new one on my rogue. Never even got to do it, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. The change. I feel like you're too heavy on the left side of the survival tree. You think so? Maybe. But, like, apparently that build with Fear of the Eagle and Ruthless is a lot better in Mythic Plus Dungeons. I just don't really know, like, the rules between, like, using Fear of the Eagle. Like, maybe I should just use that immediately in the opener. That may be one of those abilities I use at the start. You know? And I just don't really know. Maybe it's like a prior ability for me. At the very beginning of the encounter. I'll try to let the healer keep us alive here as best as I can, but I, I am a hunter. I am squishy. So me using whatever I can to survive is going to be big. So 
So she has a pretty big hitbox at least. Oh god, it's so much easier to even see where they are gonna be. Yo, wait, that is so easy. You can literally see where they're gonna be. Oh my god, it's so easy. Oh, what a good change. Oh, oh no. Squishy! Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Pet. Pet taunt him. Please. But please. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. We're fine, we're fine. I'm gonna pop a defensive. We're chilling. We're chilling. I'm gonna back in there. There we go. Now we're Gucci. Now we're fine. Hopefully I won't need a turtle, but we'll be okay. <gasps> My man's dead! Oh, please. I'm a turtling. I'm just turtling. Man's dead, dude. I'm a hunter. I ain't living that. <laughs> I ain't living that. We just got a turtle played super, super safe. Oh, wait. I thought for some reason I had harpoon. I don't, though. Stay in here. Okay, okay. Like the rest of the fight? Alright, interesting. Need the pet to attack that. Ow. Ow. Okay, well, we have only tank. Tank is the only one healing this at the moment. I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Tank bubble taunted, which is good. Okay, we're just playing it super safe. Woo! Okay, that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that boss a lot. Yeah, my damage was just so all over the place, though. Terpersing is very, very effective. I can definitely feel the difference. Kill Command with Bow with a Bleed, that's pretty good. Shrapnel Bomb Bleed, I don't know about the Bleed, though. This just feels such a weak Bleed, man, but it's good. A lot of people recommend it. But I don't know, I just don't use Fury of the Eagle, so he came. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't use Fury of the Eagle, but I heard that it's really, really good in AoE. It just has, like, cooldown reduction. Apparently, it's really good damage. I just need to use it a lot more often in AoE. So maybe I just go in, Grenade, Fury of the Eagle, Grenade some more. But I have, like, a whole Shrapnel Bomb playstyle with Butcher it. I just don't really know what's better. I tank. How are we doing this? Are we pulling him or pull on top of him? Okay, okay, that's fine. Maybe I should do a double grenade, Fear of the Eagle. And then get my cleaves in there, right? We'll do it like that. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. Maybe that's the play, just go in, pop cooldowns, don't think about it. Because <laughs> I did do decent damage, it felt like. In comparison to what I've done so far. Just don't hold CDs. Maybe there's a playstyle, just don't hold CDs on this thing. Oh god, please walk him over. If you can. Oh god. Here of the eagle. Just press the button. Sanguini. Didn't know much about it, really. Uh, scatter him. Ah, that's unforge. That's super unforge, because that's the whole blue grenade gone from that guy. Oh god, penetrating. Definitely be a little careful with that one. Penetrating shot is big pain. Big hurty. What is it going to be? Spear. Spear apparently is something you would use like when you had nothing going on in single target, but on AoE, it's prior. After you do your bombs. Doesn't want to be sitting on bomb charges. Maybe I need to do this. Is bomb grenade? Maybe if I get the blue, do a bit of cleave, then and go spear, basically immediately. I don't really know. I have no idea. If you guys could help me out, that would be fantastic. Otherwise, I'll just need to look up a guide or something, like a proper guide. To spend some time with it. And maybe run some sims, see what the uh, recommendation is in playstyle. That's enough, it feels good. That's got some nice buffs, man. I'm actually kind of excited to get Destro a try. Because Destro not, wasn't my favorite spec, but it definitely is one of the specs that I had an e much, much easier time with, man. Yeah, I know what it does. Survival, best prediction ever. Do you? Oh, huge. <laughs> huge. Big helpers. <laughs> you swap to marksman. Press N, talk to them. <laughs> exactly. Dude, and the thing is, like, as I'm Mem, I have such a e much easier time playing that, too. Like, I'm Mem, my gameplay is so much easier, dude. It's such an easy easy time with MM. Like, in comparison. So much easier. I don't even think about the rotation. I just go in and play. <laughs> Mem is easy for sure. 
so it's it's also straightforward like you don't even need to like learn a whole new logic behind it either that's how that's what feels different about it is that remember just go in i just don't really get think too much about it i don't have to like question my rotation i'm just like all right always be casting and that's really it always be casting just make sure you're constantly casting something did i faint death at the right time i didn't faint death at the right time if you faint death at the right time you just stick it with the bleed aspect of this whole fight so it doesn't even do the leaps anymore so for the actual fight i'll need to be a little more careful with that MM plus it should be ammo for all content ammo. BM is really easy in world content, yeah, just fighting things from distance. I just want to see if like it's possible to make survival work, because I had so much fun with it in a cell, and I love the changes I've done. I just didn't really know if like the changes would be enough. But it could be one of those things where it's like even if I play like super hyper optimally, because the whole time I'm like playing it, I'm like I'm thinking back in my mind. Maybe I'm just not playing it right. Right? Maybe I'm pressing all my buttons, but I'm pressing in such a wrong order that it's like categorically wrong and I have no- and it's just like, when I realize it, I just will be such a big epiphany moment. We're just like, oh yeah, I've definitely been doing this wrong the entire time. But I literally can't tell, man. Maybe that's the case, maybe not. Maybe I'm doing everything fine, it's just like, there are some optimizations I can do, but it's like, for the most part, like, I'm doing everything okay. Who knows, honestly. Dude, what's your item level? It's like 385. But when I go on a mem, like, it just feels like such a big difference. 385 on a mem and 385 here. Such a big difference. Got big grenades here. Big cleavers. Okay, if I do this right. Didn't do it right. That's unfortunate. Normally you could like do the vanish trick, trick as a rogue or a uh, faint death as a hunter. And then you basically stop the boss from ever doing that mechanic like of the leaps and the bleeds ever again. Literally just have to use it or do it at all. But you gotta really time it. With vanish you can just do it as soon as the boss is midair. With faint I think you just basically gotta be on the ground by the time he's on you. So you gotta faint a little bit earlier than you would vanish. Like in comparison, I want to try this here. Didn't do it right. I tried different timing to do it a little bit earlier, but that wasn't it apparently. Or it didn't work. For the way that I was hoping it would. Go another bop? I don't think we do. Go leave though. Nice. All right, we're out with the multi stab attack, a volley, or the uh, if fury of the eagle. I felt like there weren't survival to be a lance spec and wow, huh? Kind of, yeah. So it was an artifact weapon back in like uh, it was an artifact weapon back in Legion. It was called Fear, uh, the spear, eagle talon. I thought it was called. I think it was called. I believe it was called Eagle Talon, but it was like an eagle-esque type of like eagle spirit spear. I guess the best way to put it. That you would get. Eagle Talon. It was by like Hulun High Mountain. It was his weapon. It was like a unique weapon to him. And you pick that up and that became your artifact weapon. And it had like some aspects to it, like every time you use an ability, there's a chance that you'll call down an eagle spirit to fight for you. Or whenever you press like the e uh, Fury of the Eagle at the time, or Aspect of the Eagle, which is your cooldown instead of like the Coordinate Assault. Aspect of the Eagle, I think, gave you like more damage or mortal strikes or something. When you press that, you would summon an eagle spirit to fight alongside you and all that stuff. And it was like a big like, uh, you would stack up Mongus Bites. And those Mongus Bite stacks were also above the damage of Fury of the Eagle, so you go for a bunch of Mongus Bite, Bite, Bite. Bite, and then big Fury of the Eagle once you get yourself full, like, full go. Full combo. It was pretty effective at the time. But yeah, right now the Fury of the Eagle is kind of like a relic. A kind of a similar aspect to that original designed ability, but not quite. Not exactly. It's similar, but it's not really in terms of like, even the spirit of it, it's just not really even the, that, that similar. 
or same, I guess is a better word. It's similar, but not the same. But even like in the design of it, it's like very, very different now. It's just kind of like a filler ability, it feels like. Are you trying to twitch me? <laughs> As a Volpera, I see you struggling with the table. <laughs> Poor Volpera. <laughs> Volpera struggling to climb on a table. <laughs> All right, we do these guys here. What are percent at, man? I don't even know if we got like no percent either. Okay, we'll go big coordinated. Big assault. Let's see if we can give these guys a little bit of that uh, grandeur. Trying to keep my grenades on cooldown best I can. Pull that buff. Back away for a second. Yeah, you just need to figure out like how do you play this thing in AoE. Also, you just sim it because maybe it just sims super low, but it, maybe it's a normal number for me. Because my damage performance feels very, very, very low. But maybe that's normal. Alright, do we want to grab another keg? I can grab a beer. And we can drag him to one of the beer guys. Here we go. Uh, I got beer. So, dr so drag one to a beer one. I don't know the timing for this one, uh, but I decay the timing. So I'm gonna just uh, wing it. I don't know if this guy can maybe help me out with that one. So I'm gonna try to see. Oh yeah, bomb. Oh yeah, it's gone. Beer gone. I guess I gotta do it before I get in combat. Cause you gotta beer him and then you go. Also, my pet is super far away. <laughs> oh yeah, there's Bo. Yeah, rest in peace, that plan. Didn't work out how I wanted to. 84%? Uh, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. You guys are right about that. We're chilling. Humongous bites back to back. Mm, didn't really get anybody beard at all. Unforge. Now apparently the TOC dailies came out with a reset of classics, so I'll hop back on. Sap some horses with a lance. Oh, are they the back finally now? Nice, hell yeah, my guy. Child of Crusader, yeah. Remember doing those like in Cataclysm for like while waiting for Mesa Pandaria. Just kind of waiting for the new content. Just decided I just want to get some mounts and some cosmetic rewards or whatever. Because by then Transmog was a thing. Or was it a mob that Transmog was a thing? Maybe those mounts that I wanted to get. Don't remember now. Oh god. <laughs> Bo, thanks for taking a hit for me. Appreciate ya. Yeah, there should be some big bleeds here. Big dots. Uh, freezing? Yeah. As long as we don't hit him anymore, we'll be okay. Fear? Big fear. Oh god, put a bleed on him. That is not what I'm meant to do. Uh, I could slow him. That's about all. E yeah, can't really do much else. Could scatter him. Well, if you're running him out, at least, that's pretty good. Could refuse that guy. Do, 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 do. All right, cool. Uh, Lust Odin, yeah? Lust Odin or Odin or this guy? What do you want Lust? Because we can Lust either one, man. Which one do you think is going to take longer? Because Odin, we do get ourselves a nice buff, but this guy's just like a long fight. 
Probably Odin, right? Just to make sure we don't get a big wipe on there. Just to get the uh, rune buff and we just nuke him. This guy? Okay, okay. I can lose this guy. Best days ever to exist personally. I do remember them, but I don't remember like if I like them. But I do remember them mildly. Okay, well, us here. I just lost in the opener. So you guys can have a proper go. Because we only get one loss on either one. Do, 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 do. I don't think our bosses have been super long though either, have they? Yeah, not super long. Not too bad. I feel like that opener was scuffed. Super hard scuffed. Oh god. That big pain. Big pain. Okay, this should be kind of fun. Oh god, the ads. Oh, why are the ads spawning all there? I, I think normally the ads spawn on us, but maybe they're spawning on the imps? Probably on the imps, right? Gotta be the imp play. Gotta be that imp play. Let's get back up for a second. Get myself a quick harpoon in as well. Ah, I kind of messed that up. That was a big unforge. I think get better at the whole like disengage and then rehearp them back in. I'm really really bad at that. Cause that's quite a bit of damage you can get out of it too. Like when I have nothing else going on, I'm just low energy. I can't go into Mongo's bite phase. That is something I can definitely get better at. At this point, just save CDs for Odin. Yeah. Now, do I do wait CDs all the way until Odin buffs you? Or do I just, like, go? Because I have CDs in Odin, but I don't really know if Coordinate Assault feels like a cooldown. It just feels like, yeah, I can do his abilities more often, but it doesn't really necessarily make me, like, stronger like it used to. I don't think I expected to harpoon damage. Am I not? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, this build is so weird, man. I learned one play style, and now I'm, like, trying to figure out a new build. I just need to be, like, pick, like, the default build and just stick with it until I get, like, kind of okay at that. Because my damage has been atrocious, man. I feel like getting a Winchetto weapon will help a little bit. Just fully enchanted. Maybe just getting tier. I don't even know, man. Because I need one more item for tier, dude. That could have been, like, more damage for Mungus Bite and Butchery. Okay, we just gotta go big grenades in the opener. Get the homie. Oh god. Nice. He's gonna spear, shatter all the spears, and then we're gonna get the uh, runes. Yeah, runes is kind of spooky. Runes got a scary time, honestly. Actually, just scary. I got him over here, boys. We're chilling. 
I can scatter him. No, I can't. Oh. Uh, are we just Odin? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe I could scatter him, but I couldn't. I only used my interrupt. And I guess that's what he started killing us there at the end. That's a big unforge. Uh, we gotta kill him. Or not. Okay. I think the tank decided he's just gonna hold on to Odin and not bring him onto the guy. And no, nobody else watched this for switch over to the guy at all. That could have been the problem. I'm just gonna say that though. Yeah, no one saw. What? What do you mean no one was in Stormforge, Matux? I was literally the first guy attacking them. That is BS right there. What is that? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Buff. Uh, I don't think it's. Big. Yeah, I need to check out some of the other builds out there. Because apparently there are survival hunters that are doing really, really well. But I don't know what build they're running. I don't think it's this one, though. I think it's more like a kill command build. Or a kill shot build. Yeah, it looks like people are doing more like kill shot. Birds of Prey. Over the Grenadier. So the fit is damage reduced. Is that what I'm running? No, I'm running cooldown reduction. Is cooldown reduction better? So the fittest. Two minutes. Do, 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 do. Ah, I mean, two minutes versus 2.5 minutes. I mean, I don't know, actually. I don't know what's good. I didn't see it. Yeah, dude, I was the first one on him. Like, when we split and Odin did the circle, I saw where the guy was. I harpooned to him, and I hit him without interrupt. But I don't have, like, a proper pet stun, so I can't lock him down or anything. I tried to hit him with a scatter because this build runs scatter, but that does nothing. Also, I don't understand why builds don't run entrapment. It is so good. Maybe not in this sanguine, but like entrapment is such a good talent. I'm surprised so many builds don't run it. Like you don't even need to PvP. Like this is so so good. But definitely run for stun. Why do I even switch out for a stun actually? Misdirect? Probably not misdirect. Probably like one heal for a stun. I probably do like one heal. Or born to be wild. I mean that is turtle, but like I don't know. We're just gonna get buffed. Oh no, we don't time it, dude. I actually we probably could have timed this too, huh? Probably could have just timed this key as well. Uh I'll use lust when we get the rune buff. That's unfortunate, man. That's never fun. We're so close to timing it too. But it's needed to be on the uh, the ad at the end there. Like, if we were literally all on the ad, we would have been fine. No, my flask is gone. I guess I could use this baby flask. Better than nothing. Unforged, man. Unforged. That could have been really good. Oh, please don't run in. Please, we would still need a food tank. No, please. Ah. <sighs> oh, wait, no. You don't pull the boss by walking at them. I thought for some reason you pull the boss when you walk at him. Just when you walk in. Uh, Let's get this guy. I'm actually going to try to see if I can hold on to my boss to coordinate it until the end. Just to see if I can bank up a big CD thing. Just to try it. Here we got the ad. Probably should be on him immediately. Stunning him is not a bad idea. As long as we can kill him. Okay, he's gonna do shatter here in a bit. Let's be extra careful with the shatters. Shatter. And get your rune. Once we get our runes, I'm gonna lust us. Okay, big luster. Big damage. Everything you got. I just, if you get it, thundering. Hold on to thundering when you can. Actually, I guess it depends. I like the curse, by the way. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Please tell me we got an interrupt or something. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, Odin 83. We'll probably have to do one spear and then we should be chilling. Oh. Okay, we got it. Shatter. Ah, never mind. Doesn't even matter. Turtle? 
<laughs> I can try to stun you anyway. That's a forge man. It's nice we can score, I guess. Anything good? No. <laughs> I was hoping maybe we get something out of it. We got a helm. What do we got? My chick's got something for sure. What do we got? What do we got, my guy? Nothing? Wait, who got what? Did we only get a helm? Bone speaker's cowl. No, wait, hold on. He got something, right? No. Story of spectacular victory. Oh, he got the sky deer helm. Okay, that's cool. It's gold your helm. At least you got something out of it. Oh, yeah. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. At least it's a 14 for the week. Yeah, damage wise was really, really low for me. Very, very, very low. I do gotta figure out a build. Or maybe if I'm playing it wrong. Serpent Stick did a lot of damage though. Fury of the Eagle, I gotta press that ability. I feel like on cooldown. I gotta figure out the good opener as a survival. Because I know right now, like when you go to Wahid or Icy Mains, it's just like a priority. If you have this, use this. If you have this, use this. If you have this, use this. I just need to know, like, when I walk in with full cooldowns into like a pack of five mobs, what opener should I do? In order to get my abilities on cooldown, because it's not even like a cooldown class, it's like a it's like a conditional class. It's just like if this condition is met, then use this ability. If this condition is met, then use this ability. If you're low on focus, use this ability. And I need to figure it out. Because like at least rogue is like very, very CD. Rogue rotation, really easy. CDs is the only hard part. You just gotta manage them. But a good opener will let you set up like, okay, what you use priority wise, and then you pop them on cooldown and you're chilling. With this spec, I have no clue. What does an open look like on like five mobs? Like off the bat, everything ready. I need to see. But that's also another thing. Maybe this class is not even optimized for that either if I do a sim. I just want to look. I just want to see it. Five bosses. Like a like a 1.5 minute one one minute 30 seconds, let's say. Or like a minute minute minute. Let's go for a minute. No bloodlust. Go. That's how I'm gonna sim it. I just want to see like what's a more realistic one. Thanks for wonder. Thanks so much for joining me, Dylan, dude. You popped off in damage. Sorry I couldn't do more, man. If I did a bit of better damn, and if we will swap the on the ad, actually, if I did more damage that one, like a bit of 60, double the damage I'm doing, um, I feel like we would have been in a much, much better spot, man. So I apologize. I'm still figuring this thing out. I maybe should have just played MM or something. <laughs> I'm proud of you if you're worried. Being second highest DPS on lowest raises this isn't fair. Wait, what? I'm proud of the Fury Warrior being second highest DPS. We're the lowest race that is a fair. What do you mean? What, right here? My Jinx did fine, but my Jinx played like a single target, like single body Fury build, which isn't really good right now, but it is going to get a lot better um, with 1005. They're buffing the auto attack damage by quite a bit. So melee damage is going to go up by a ton. It's going to go from 5% damage buff to a third percent, like 25% more damage on melees, which is going to just cascade the rest of your abilities. But yeah. It's it's gonna be in a better spot, but he I think you just want to try out the single body to see if it works. And you got yourself. I thought you had the uh, twice st strike twice ability. Wait, what's that trinket? Is that good? Does build does this build even use haste? Maybe it does. Maybe that is good. PvP trinkets and PVE are kind of weird. They are very very like. Okay, so I am supposed to be grenading the hell out of things. I'm supposed to, in a minute, do 121k DPS. I'm definitely behind that. What's my opener look like? Not done. You just wildfire bomb in the opener. Coordinated. Wildfire bomb. Kill shot. Explosive shot. Butchery. Wildfire. Wildfire. Butchery. Butchery. Kill shot. Wildfire. Fury. Kill. Bomb. Bomb. Into bombs. That's aggressive. It's a bunch of butcheries and bombs. You will Serpent Sting, apparently. You do want to Serpent Sting. And you'll mug his body, I guess, when they got nothing else going on? Is that what that is? I guess when you got no butcheries anymore. Wow. There's definitely, like, an order of things. There's definitely an order of things you do here. <laughs> so you open it as bomb, coordinated, bomb, kill shot, explosive, butchery, bomb, Bomb again, butcher, butcher, kill shot, bomb, then fury, then you'll kill shot when that's up. So kill shot is not priority then. Okay, interesting. And then you'll bomb by that. And you'll get two bombs back. Then you'll butchery, butchery, bomb, kill, bomb, kill command, serpent. And you'll like really slow down for a little bit until next fury of the eagle. Let's 
Let's try that. I want to give that a go. <laughs> so you bomb in the opener. That's really weird, but okay, we'll try it. No, I I was gonna say I'll even lust it, but I can't even lust it. Okay, bomb. So you bomb, explosive, butchery once, bomb, kill shot two, You'll bomb again, You'll butchery, bomb, butchery, bomb. You can butcher twice at some point, don't you? My well, opener is insane right now. And you'll just do this a couple of times. Oh, you also fear of the eagle. I should have fear of the eagle while I had everything up. That's another one. So you definitely can do a lot of damage in the opener, huh? And you'll make sure you get dots on everybody. So maybe that's what at some point you do like slow down and you just like Mung is biting really. Until you get another big go another big setup. It feels like. Cause then you do butchery, bomb, fear of the eagle again. Yeah, so at least this puts it in a bit of a perspective of like how you're supposed to do it. How you're supposed to have a go. And then there's like a whole point where you slow down a little bit until you wait for charges to recover. So that does give me at least a bit of an idea and you don't want to start pressing on things, it looks like, from what I can tell. Okay, then we got a bunch of uh, butcheries here. Bomb. Butchery. And we got Spear of the Eagle again. Bomb. <laughs> butcheries. Alright. And I guess that's where you slow down for a little bit. So there are moments where you go big damn, and there's moments where you slow down, it seems like. Just, it's known when to hold cooldowns and when not to hold cooldowns. I got bomb again. I right, coordinated. Bomb. I'll kill him. Kill shot. I'll bomb again. I'll butcher a couple of times. Bomb again. Butchery. And we do spear in order to recover all the CDs back. <laughs> I'll double bomb. And I'll kill shot. Butchery. Bomb again. And then we slow down. And then we just dodge things. Alright, this is definitely interesting, definitely an interesting way of going about it, an interesting way of playing it. There's definitely like a moment of highs and lows. That is something I did not understand, like asking you guys like, hey, why do you do the opener? And you guys it's like, you just go ham in the opener. It's like, okay, I, I, I get like, yeah, you do go ham. But like somebody who's like, you kind of just want to use grenades aggressively and then make sure to use Fear of the Eagle in between of it. You're kind of like grenading, butchering, when you got nothing else, you will spear the hell out of it, back to grenading and butchering super aggressively in the opener. But yeah, this puts a little more in perspective of like how you do the opener. It's like there's moments of uptime and downtime. It's like you moments where you're just butchering and grenading, and there's moments where you're just like basically single targeting until things are back up, and then you just do that. That makes it so much like easier to understand. That's weird though. I want to try this some more twice in YouTube. Uh, question. Do you know when you, a better way to get a two-handed weapon from a warrior? Open in the Vault of Fury with one as arms. Uh, if you want a two-hander, do it as arms. Do it as arms. Fury can get you one-handers. I would do it as arms for sure. Because you can get a chance on a two-hander. Open as Fury for two-handed arms that get to one-handers. Uh, no, no, no. No, open as arms for two-handers. Fury can have one-handers. No, 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 no. It's the other way around. Fury can get two-handers. Or one-handers because it can build both. But if you're just looking for to play two-hander, Fury Warrior, you want a two-hander, a big weapon. You do it as arms because arms can only load big weapons. If you do it as prod, you have a chance at only one-handers. If you do it as Fury, you have a chance at two-handers. And if uh, rephrase that, if you do it as prod, you have a chance at one-handers. If you do it as arms, you have a chance at only two-handers. If you do as Fury, however, you get both. You can do one-handers and two-handers. Open as arms. Open your both as arms. Definitely do as arms. Whatever people tell you, arms. For sure, 100%. It's just facilitate a little bit of a crit. You get a chance, um... Just to get a chance for my execute critical mastery. Wait, what? 
We are nerfed dramatically. Fury need to rise up. From what I've seen, Fury is actually in a pretty good spot right now on Mythic Pluses, aren't they? I know that you guys' tier set is not amazing, though. I will say this, Fury tier set is not great. It's not ideal. It definitely could be a little bit stronger. Alright, I want to try the go again. But, like, go for a proper opener here. With, like, lust and everything. Like this. Alright, but Tukes, I'm gonna lust you. I don't know if you want to have a go, but I'm gonna give you a lust. Or oh, I'm gonna lust myself. Uh, let's see. Gonna get explosive in there. Let me just put your ring as much as we can. Butchering spear. Yeah, going for like super aggressive butcher spear combo. Super fun. And then you got more grenades, a couple of butcheries, and then you just single target basically. Just my chain of buffs. Just waiting for cooldowns to be back. And then spear back. Okay. And then it's like, you gotta just wait again. It's spread kill commands on a bunch of mobs. And they just gotta have downtime. So uptime and downtime. Like a good go is possible with survival, it looks like. And then spear. Looks like you do want to use spear pretty often in AoE though. Pretty value. There's a moments of downtime and uptime with Fury. I kind of miss the tier set now. <laughs> I miss the tier set because I felt like there was no downtime at all ever. I know it wasn't like super healthy for Fury to or survival to have that tier set, but like it was super fun. Yeah, I guess it's a lot better damage-wise than it was doing earlier. I gotta figure out like my single target though, as a spec, because maybe I was doing fine last time, like during the whole dungeon run, but my AoE definitely was pretty bad. Like even going into the five target trash pack, I don't think I ever got like 100k DPS. Ever. Serpent Sting actually adds up quite a lot of just sustain, Jesus. It's really good on sustain apparently. Fury of the Eagle, Grenades, Volatile Bomb doing work. That's another one I didn't really get to take advantage of is the Volatile Bomb, the fact that it has like a bonus explosion on it. When it hits like a target that already has a Serpent Sting. That is something I gotta get better at though. Tank was not great at gathering ads. I think it did fine for the most part, like we were doing okay. Like the dungeon was actually was going fine. Uh, I, I just... Of well, five targets I know the Fury uh, Survival is doing okay, but I didn't want to see what much damage it should be doing like three targets and all that too. Because maybe rotation changes a little bit there. But even then, I knew my damage was super, super low, though. Yeah, cell team was so fun. It was so good, though. Yeah, I'll open, um, I'll open his arms. Fingers crossed. Have a good night, man. Yo, thanks so much for popping in. I appreciate you. A tier set does nothing for us, for Fury. Yeah, it's so it gives you more chances at executes and a little bit more damage than execute. But yeah, it's like overall, altogether, I think the two piece and the four piece is about a 5% damage gain, which is ne negligible. Like, you could actually like make a 5% damage gain on like, what's it? With gear, right? You can, uh, there's actually like moments where if you're working, you get higher item level pieces that don't have tier, and abandoning your tier can be better just to pick up secondary or primary stat. For Fury, it's just, it should be a prior, but like, and you normally wouldn't do want to get a tier, right? That would be best of slots, is tier, but like, you can loot, like, let's say, like, a Lafar shoulders for tier, 
and looking for 11 shoulders that are not tier if they have better secondary stats actually just have a higher item level will probably make it better than tier it is so weird where other classes like you will down clock to get tier other classes you won't do that just the first set uh it's so a it's boring i aren't warlocks like tier is similar to like a shaman tier right except for rest of shaman don't you guys have like the best part of your tier like as a two set for the damage buff and then the four set is like a convenience kind of thing except for affliction i think they do have more damage on malefic and seed as a four set right am i wrong on that 208 grin is up to 100 i mean that's eight percent more crit okay hold on hold on eight percent more damage on crits that's pretty good that's pretty good hey you're talking crit damage that's valuable yeah that doesn't seem bad at all then that seems kind of strong isn't it crit damage wait i don't know all abilities not just chaos bolts too but like obviously it's a value on chaos bolts but like other stuff as well it makes it so much more crit oriented but that's resource game baby that's big resource game baby that's huge that's really good crit damage like it seems like it's such a passive one i will give it that it is a very very passive tier it is a very very passive bonus but a lot of these bonuses are very passive it's not that bad or anything it's compared to pieces of boring okay 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 but it's good though you guys could have been in the same bonus fury you know tier said that's supposed to be really really good but it's like it's good but it's just like not that great <laughs> what's it tier? execute crit chance between the 25 which isn't bad that's okay. Sudden death chance to reset uh, is increased greatly. Which should mean more damage, more overall output, more executes. But like, ah, I wish I didn't reset my stuff. I don't even know how many executes Matug's got there. Hold on, that's how dummy. Dummy damage. So Matug is executing. <laughs> he got five. We're hitting these guys, these dummies for like a good minute or two, right? Yeah, we hit him for like two minutes. He got five executes. And I'm sure this man is... Wait, no. Five casts. I guess main hit offhand, right? 42 hits. Wait, huh? What does it say? Five casts, 42 hits. Oh, cleaving, 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 cleaving. But still, five casts of execute. And he's auto attacking the entire time. Popping cooldowns. Me cleaver. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me a second. I was gonna say for a sec. I keep forgetting that you guys are not like Blade Flurry. It actually just makes the ability to cleave, not uh, Blade Flurry cleaves based on the damage you did with an ability. Yeah, like five. Two minutes. Five. <laughs> I feel like it should be a lot higher. Like 10, 15, 20. I don't know. Like make it regular ability rotation. But it's, it's, it, it's funny how even in Tooltip, he just actually he doesn't have the greatly increased part, does he? He doesn't have the greatly increased, actually. So never mind. Scratch that. I do wonder how these cuts will play with the Great Increased. But 25% more chance to crit on its own, like... I mean, he did crit more than normal. I don't know. I missed the whole part about Force. I didn't really... I, for, I thought for some reason he did have the Force set. But now I'm interested, actually. Because I thought I had it figured out, but apparently I didn't. Is there anybody else out here? That's a uh, Warrior? Prop Warrior. Unfortunate. I do want to see them. I can't even go test it. <laughs> These have tears since you can test on beta, but not anymore because beta servers are down. You know what? Tonight we'll be raiding and I have Red and he does have a tier set and I'll be able to see him and see how well his tier set procs. That's what we'll do, Chad. But yeah, boys. Um, Normally I'd have a raid stream tonight. Are we streaming the raid tonight or am I taking it easy? Because we're going to be doing, what, Primalist and I think a Reclears and stuff? I don't think we're even going to be in Diurna. Not Diurna. Um, Dathia. Tonight. I feel like I should stream the raid this evening. But also, I don't even know, like, what progress we're going to have this evening. I think maybe just stream the raid tomorrow instead, chat. What are you guys thinking? Because I don't even know if I'll be able to, like we'll be able to really hit Dathia much this evening. Maybe I should stream tomorrow then. Hmm. Or should we just skip Thursday raid stream? Stream the raid? I just don't even know. Like, I feel like I'm gonna end up sitting on the bench again. I'm gonna head up raid? Yeah, yeah go for it. Watch all us cry on my vault. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should just stream it. Catch you later, Al. Sounds good, but ticks. 
Hmm. I just don't know if like we'll get anything exciting done in Rage tonight. That's like the biggest like gripe. I think I'll stream it. I think I'll still stream the Rage chat. I think we'll still do it. We'll give it a go. I don't know what we're doing tonight, honestly. I think we should be going, get into Dathy as soon as possible. I think that is the plan, but I don't even know, dude. It feels like that's the plan that we start with, but then we just change it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just looking at the roster. Looks like I'm in. So at least... Yeah, we'll stream, we'll stream, we'll stream. If I'm in. Alrighty, yo, let me get this song out of here, dude. Let me get you guys a good song to end the night off. Yo, boys. Thank you so much. Tonight, Rage Stream, I've decided... Tomorrow, we'll see. Tomorrow, we go back to Altman and get, maybe get in some stuff on mains as well. I think it'd be really, really fun. We didn't get too much in terms of gear tonight uh, from the vault. Decent little upgrades here and there, but definitely still looking for tier, man. Looking forward to the 1005 uh, creation catalyst at this point. We've got a couple of pieces that can easily be turned into catalyst here. Pieces. Need a better helm and a better set of shoulders. I also gotta fly around and get a little bit of gear on my other alts. Start getting the warrior and getting like the uh, druid and some of the keys, man. I think it'll be super, super easy to get into. But yo, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for coming by. You guys are wonderful to hang out with. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Next week, 10.05, tonight of the raid. Maybe I'll see some of you boys. Maybe I won't, but we'll get the raid up and running in like 30 minutes or so. Alrighty. You guys have a good one. I'd like to see you tonight. Uh, have you got the eye yet? The eye? I got the eye of Scovald from the priest. Um, for the priest. The eye, the eye, the eye. I'm trying to think what the eye else would be. Scovald eye, right? That trinket? Or the eye? Huh. That is what you meant, right? I'm guessing. I have no idea, honestly. I'm trying to search it back on mine. Like, what, the, what else would the eye be? Odin. Just double checking. Let me see. Uh, you mean the eye scovold? Odin trinket? So I don't know if the Odin actually has an eyeball trinket. They have the gift. But the eye scovold. I did have them on priest a while ago. Er, um, uh, none of my characters actually pulled that trinket from the vault, but that was like second or first vault from a priest. I have scovold. I do gotta check out the damage that I did. Actually, let's do it right now, real quick. Just while I'm here. While I'm here. Because I didn't want to check it out anyway. So I might as well peep it. I just want to see how much it did overall. Because it was like, what, Algathar's 11? I gotta get more of those keys done on my ults, man. Like, my main needs to get these 420s done. <laughs> it's stupid with multi shot. I gotta give it a go on like other classes too. Let me see. So most of my damn. <laughs> that is so good. Wait, it's literally 2 million, three, almost 3 million of my damage. Wait, Ice Cobalt owns. It's so good. Anybody else here has Ice Cobalt? I don't think so, right? No, this guy did. Oh my god, it still does damage for him too. And the Soul Seeker. What a combo, man. What about this guy? Also Meteor, bro. It is so good. It is such a good trick. I need more of the I need this on my mains, man. I need my that on my on my healers. This is so good. <laughs> I had no idea it was that good. Alright, good thing I looked. Alright, boys. I'll catch you guys in 30 or I'll catch you tomorrow. Alrighty. Actually done for the night. Alright, boys. Peace. Wait, wrong one, wrong one. That's my face. <laughs> I thought it was the outro. Never mind. Hold on. Okay, now for real. Peace. <laughs>